Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. I gift you tier one. Okay. Thank you for redeeming Luigi. That should be in the budget. Because <laughs> I just went grocery shopping, so it's... I have enough for... Only two more gifted for the rest of the month. So nobody, nobody else redeemed, please. Nobody else. But um, we had Hacker, Luigi, Mac, Pride in the Just Starting Soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. I appreciate you all. Let's give Lift Luigi that gifted stuff. While I'm getting my computer, um, everybody peep the pin message in chat. I do have the Art TikTok officially launched. So go follow, please. Go follow. Yep. But doesn't it look nice? I actually like... Okay, this one is kind of crooked. But that's because the other three are all not straight because I don't have a level. So, at least the top part is kind of straight. Unlike us, right chat? <laughs> Hi Nazren, welcome in. Peace. Can we get some peace to Yo's fuck, my laptop is almost dead. Oh no! Fuck it. Oh no. Okay, I gotta do this quickly. I gotta do it quickly. Hurry up! Ayaku! Oh shit. Well, I guess I can use my credit card. <laughs> I guess I can use my credit card. I can use my credit card. Because <laughs> I just have to pay it off next week, so. Where's my favorite painting? Um, I'm gonna rotate them out occasionally, so don't worry about it. Hi, Koboba, welcome in. We are gifting Luigi a sub. <laughs> I almost clicked <laughs> whisper by accident, Lamo. Okay, it's processing. It's processing. Hold. There we go. Enjoy your gifted sub, Luigi. Have fun with the ad free viewing and emotes. Let's go. Okay. I'm gonna go charge this. I... I don't know where I put... The MacBook charger. <laughs> Nobody else redeemed today because my laptop's gonna die. Okay, we redeem points kind of like the wallpaper to change the painting. Oh, actually, I can do that right now because we're stalling today. Um, chatters. How's everybody's weekend? We haven't streamed since Friday. Friday, we. Oh my god, Friday? We have to watch a recap of it because Friday's stream went crazy. I'll add that tomorrow, Mac. That way, chatters, like Mac was saying, because before, if anybody was here before the move, I used to have like a wallpaper hung up and then I people could use their channel points to change the wallpaper. But you are right, it could change the painting. And every time we change, we can plug the art channel. Good suggestion. Good suggestion. We should hire a Mac. <laughs> okay, okay. What are we gonna do today? Today, plan is simple. We are gonna be doing Mario Kart, Animal Crossing. Today's gonna be a normal ass stream. It's been a while since we had a normal stream. And tomorrow, where'd it go? My DOM. <clears throat> Put it away by accident. Tomorrow, we are starting a new game. Omori. Oh, Trigger warning it is rated mature for violence, blood, and strong language. But look at it. Doesn't it look cute? How can this be a scary game? Surely it's not scary. So, um, if you don't like horror games, don't watch on Wednesdays. Um, there also is a flash warning. We'll go over this tomorrow when we actually start the game, but... Yeah, new game starting tomorrow. That'll be our new Wednesday story game slot. If you have suggestions for what other story games you want me to play, tell me, and we might do it or we won't. Also, Chatters. 
Um, if you're new here and you want following, we are one follower away from 650. Maybe we can hit that. That'd go great. Oh, I still painted my nails over the weekend. Um, I've been biting my nails. That's why they're really short. So, big sad. I, I literally haven't seen any gameplay. So it's going to be a full blind playthrough. All I know is that it gets like kind of heavy and horror-y. So that's all I know. So I got an email. Cause, okay. You know how when you get like a notification in your phone and then some of the phones like have the little LED blinking? Mine does, but then my new one doesn't. So every time I get an email, my phone blinks. Okay, you know what actually is fucking psychotic? You know the people who, uh, when they get like a text or a phone call... Because you know how, like, your phones, they have, like, the flash? When they get a call, like, it'll have, like, the flashlight go on and off. I think those people are fucking crazy. Like, you see somebody in public, like, digging through their purse, and then they whip out their phone and it's fucking flashing? I hate when people have that enabled. It's fucking dumb. Okay, let's do a little, like, recap of what we did on Friday. Because I think Friday stream was crazy. Insane. If you were here, you were here. Let's go to my uh, Let's do YouTube time Really quick. Should I be in just chatting? I sw Usually on Mondays we catch or not Mondays, but Tuesdays we catch up a little bit So what I decided For oh, I need to change my pinned video um, for the clips channel Is for accessibility reasons Oh, you're right. I'm ableist. <laughs> I I literally did not think about that. I literally did not think about that. But that, that is true. That does make sense. Okay. Anyway, so this is my clips channel. It's basically all the same videos you'll see on the TikTok. We're at 500 subs, guys. Could we get to a thousand this year? That'd go crazy. Um. So I upload all the same clips you get from TikTok. But holy shit, 64 views. That's actually really good. Um. But I decided for any like pivotal or like iconic gaming moments on stream, like you can't see the view count, but right here, my first ever victory royale, full game, uh, 64 views. That's actually good. Um, I finally beat Darker Side. We're gonna watch a bit of this one. I I'm getting frustrated. Okay, so, um, because for this channel, in order for me to get monetization, I need a thousand subs and then X amount of watch hours. Um, so I I decided. If I have any, like, longer stream segments that I think are good enough for, like, the Clips channel, but not, like, substantial enough to be an edited video, then I'll just upload a segment of the stream to the Clips channel. So, everybody, uh, subscribe, subscribe to the Clips channel. You're gonna leave Dollar Tree? Didn't you say that months ago? You better actually fucking do it, Nyx. But welcome in, hun. You'll be set for your best stream all year. Thank you, Acker, thank you. Um, so everybody, go sub to Clips channel. It's free to sub. I want to hit a thousand subs this year. Anyway. So, on Friday stream, <clears throat> I, in one sitting, decided to finally beat Darker Side. <laughs> I just realized my camera blocks my actual camera here. Let me move all that. <laughs> um, awkward, awkward. Um, okay, fuck. Ain't no way! Thank you for that eight-month resub, Nyx. Can we get some... Wix is in chat. Thank you, Nix. Thank you, and I appreciate you using your prime. Any primers? Thank you. You are gonna get your name written at the end of stream. Thank you, Nix. <laughs> Wix. <laughs> Wait, isn't Wix? Isn't that like some cute tip? No. No, 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 no. Wix is like some like house where oh, I'm gonna change to just chatting. I'm changing to just chatting. I forgot. I should have done that fucking earlier. Just chatting. We'll be in just chatting for like 20 minutes, guys. Um, because we're catching up. Okay. Uh, I have to move my camera. I did not foresee this. And then chat. Oh, look. Reacception, baby. Okay. Because I'm throwing. Oh wait, I'm I have throwing. to okay, beat I'm this. Throwing. I am I'm, I'm not throwing. Okay. I swear to God. So I, I really want to like do well. Basically, Friday stream 
was I Beat Darker Side in one sitting. The title was Stream Ends When I Beat Darker Side, okay? Previously last year in... Well, not last year. Wait, fuck. When did I start streaming? 2021. In 2021, fall 2021, I attempted this run. It took me six hours, and then I quit because I'm a little bitch. Welcome in, Crystal. Because I did three streams, two hours of a stream, little bitch, I quit. So Friday, I decided, thanks to hitting our sub goal, we were going to beat Darker Side in one sitting. My goal was to beat it within five hours because I had to make dinner that night. Right? And lo and out. behold, wait, let's watch this at like two times speed. Look, I am speed running. Look at me. I'm so quick. <laughs> We're not going to watch this whole thing, but we'll skim. Um, but basically, Darker Side is the, you can say, final level in Odyssey. In order to unlock it, you have to first get, oh, isn't it like 400 moons for Dark Side and then like 600 or 700 for Darker Side? So it's essentially like a super long level that you have to do in one run. You do get one heart capsule, so you can have upwards of six, like, lives throughout. So we're just gonna skim, we're gonna skim. While watching stream, yeah, we're watching, or speed running <laughs> Friday Shin to Recap. Because I think Friday is one of my more iconic stream moments. Like, this is gonna go down in history. The range for Dark Side of 500 for Darker Side? Really? It's, I feel like it should be more. But welcome in, Titans. Oh, that was an L. Okay. As I was, like, highlighting this VOD, I genuinely thought I did, like, a damages run, but I did take a hit at the start. L. Peace, I took L. Um, anyway, so usually people can beat this level. So this is a 22-minute segment, but I did commentate, and then I did, like, pause throughout, because I beat this. Okay, this part is easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, yeah, this part. Oh, wait, right here. I think if anybody has played, uh, uh, wait, darker side spoilers, pause. <laughs> this part right here with the fucking fire rings and the little pencil topper thumbtack things is the hardest part. But I look, I took no hits, no hits. I'm correct. Why are we stalling? I thought this was Mario Kart. It's called Clickbait Baby. I just, I really wanted to recap this. <laughs> um, I haven't muted. I should play Mark. We'll play Mario Kart music again. Because this is muted, because we don't want to... It'll be like, Arr! You ever watch, like, videos at, like, 1.5 speed on YouTube, just so you can listen to what they're talking about quicker? Okay, so... Dark Side is harder? Yeah, I agree. I don't... I like how Darker Side is just one level, one run. I didn't like how Darker Side was, like, revisiting old levels. It felt kind of like... Ah. Okay, dude, fucking jump. Actually stalling. Oh, that was way too close. <gasps> Ollie, I should not have survived that run. Okay, so right here, I paused. Because for about four hours, it was trying to get to the bird part, and then we finally got there. So the birds, because there's like a different mechanic, a different section in Darker Side for each part. Um, Listen to it at regular speed. You want to listen to it? My goal, my personal goal, was beat birds by four. It is 4.03. Which means if I hadn't gotten a snack, which took five minutes, I would have beat it before. <laughs> okay, let's, let's keep going, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh my god, is that Donkey Kong? Wait, actually, really, okay, I talk kind of slow. Is this one level? Yeah, it's like Dark Souls, where if you die, it sends you all the way back to the start. <laughs> <laughs> you lose around, please shut the fuck up. <laughs> Do not ruin this for me. It's like you're saying your ABCs quickly, sure, am I right, guys? Okay, I'm, I'm, I can't listen to it. I can't, I can't, I can't. So from this point on, I literally have not seen any of this level. I am going in completely blind. Because the only time that I really look at walkthroughs is if I'm, like, genuinely stuck. Like, we did look up how to do birds at, like, the four-hour mark because I was losing my mind. Okay, this was another pause. So, look, we are 12 minutes into the run, and I've already paused for, like, a minute or two. So, I think I genuinely got this run done in, like, 15 minutes. I won't show the very end. I won't show the very end because it's actually kind of cute. But, Yeah. We beat Darker Side in one sitting. Oops. <laughs> it was crazy. It was crazy. I think... One of my favorite streams in a while. One of my favorite streams in a while. I Speedrun... I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. I was like, should we do a speedrunning 
darker side stream. Wait, what is the actual? I'm gonna look up what the actual PB for darker side is really quick. Let's see. Um, darker side Odyssey speedrun. It's probably gonna be like 13 minutes. That's my guess. Oh. What? Okay, when I searched it up, it said a speedrun to get and earn darker side, which is three hours, which is crazy. Uh, that's not what I want. I want to see what the actual, like... Okay, because if we do, like, a speedrunning darker side stream and I title it I speedrun darker side, people are going to assume... That is me speedrunning to- Wait, what? Wait, what the fuck? This guy has five minutes. Wait, I need to find the video. Darker side. Speed. Oh! Wait, what the fuck? Hold, hold. Look, I said I found a guy who has five minutes. Oh, I just realized I left my goals here. I'm sorry. Well, now. There you go. Fixed. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry. Probably lots of jumping at. This guy is 427? Bro, they got the timer on screen. Yeah, because a lot of these runs, it's like three hours. It's like to actually earn darker side. Full walkthrough? I know, wimp. See, that was a 13 minute video. Five minutes? Dude, that's crazy. Ooh, major skip? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Stop, I hate how YouTube plays the preview sometimes. I don't want to see the preview. Wait, can you even glide that far? That can't be right. That can't be right. That, that's that gotta be edited. That can't be real. They're clickbaiting. So you beat Super- Okay, I, I don't want to hear you. I, I just want to see the game. Shaking, like, like crazy. Like you're shaking. If you're using Joy-Cons, you're using Pro Controller, you're shaking the controller like crazy at this point. And if you're lucky like me, you're gonna skip like the entire section here what? it's like crazy like you're, you're not you're not even gonna go down there they want you to go down there they want you to go down that pipe they want you to go through this crazy hard section but check this out we're even gonna pass the bowser section look at this we're gonna go all the way up top here pop out and we're on top and we're rewarded with these secret gold coins up here we're getting rewarded for our skill right now guys that's pretty much it it's like over like this level is over we're gonna go ahead and go over here and this game is pretty much over now you just gotta go over here to a little electric dude. This is fucking cheating! This... This can't be right. That... Who knew that could be even fucking possible? No, it's not. I don't mind speedrunners, but... I just feel like it's ruining the intentional level design. Was it intentional? Yeah. Like, he, he's explaining to you the strat of, like, just skipping how... All of it. Why they put coins up there? Oh. Well, if they put coins up there, then they probably knew that people could be able to do it. Is this one of those things where it's like, don't take the already made path? Uh. Go up top, and that is pretty much it, guys. Um, that's that's as easy as it gets. I mean, um. Now, don't be fooled. It's a little okay, tricky. Okay, I'm not spoiling the ending. I'm not spoiling the ending. Dude, that's crazy. That can't be real. Okay, we'll, we'll definitely do a sub-goal uh, speedrunning darker side. We will definitely do that. What should we do that for? What goal should we have? Okay, because I know people were asking for another Fortnite stream. And I think if we hit 100, we'll do Fortnite again. Every hundred subs will do Fortnite. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, also, I'd like to clarify, I am wearing the same coat I wore last week. It is washed. I just like how it looks. 
Fortnite. I got three victory royales, so, you know, I'm fucking cracked. Okay, Chaz, I think... What else did we do this, this week? We did calligraphy. Oh, yeah, we did calligraphy. Let me actually pull up the sketch cards, because I know some people... Oh, wait, Nyx! Nyx, you're in stream! Um, I didn't get a picture in time, so Nyx, if you want your sketch card drawn for December drawn later on another stream just send me a picture that we don't get scammed because i don't i don't reach out to people if i don't get a picture then it's ggs but anybody who gifts my camera's so far away anybody who gifts five subs by the end of the month gets a custom card drawn on stream these are the ones that were made for december that we drew last week Wow, we so if you want a card, give five subs. Easy. Okay, anything else? Anything else happened? Oh yeah. Um, over the weekend <clears throat> I went to Seattle, which is kind of a bit of ways for us, so it was kind of a trip. But we went to Seattle to celebrate my sister's birthday late. Because one of our friends was out of town. So we celebrated later. And you know how in Seattle, there's like so many gimmicky places. And, okay, not super gimmicky, but you know what I mean? But we went to a cat cafe. And honestly, not gonna lie, not gonna lie, it was kind of boring. But that's because, uh, I actually have a picture. Yeah, it's not gonna leak anything. Pretty cute. I only took one picture because I kind of have the belief that I like to live things in the moment. You know, I don't like to take pictures or videos. I will, like, whenever I go out, <clears throat> max, I will, like, take one or two pictures because I don't want to, like, take away from the moment. But admission was $22 per person. Gasp. Which I didn't pay. My sister paid shoutouts. <laughs> so it was $22 to, like, get in for 45 minutes and then... They had, like, drinks and food, but everything started at, like, $7. Granted, everything in Seattle is fucking expensive. And we went on Sunday, so it was during a Seahawks game. Actual torture to get through town. Um, but it was cute. It was fun. There was, like, you were in, like, a small, like, room the size of, like, maybe a master bedroom. And they had, like, 8 to 10 cats just hanging out. And you could play with them. You could pet them. They were all super nice. And, but we went at like noon, which I don't, okay, I don't know too much about cats, but they were all kind of like, they were sleeping. <laughs> like, all of them were basically sleeping. But they don't mind if you pet them when they were sleeping, so I was just like petting them. I didn't like move around too much because like my knees really hurt that day, so I felt bad because like my sister and then her friend were like running around with the cats and playing with them. And I'm just sitting there like, if a cat comes up to me, then I'll pet it. You know, if not, then I'll just sit here. <laughs> it was awkward because you were in, like, a room with, like... Because you could... They had, like, max 10 people could rent out the room for an hour. So we were in there with, like, four other people and it was really awkward. But, you know, it was fine. Cats sleep for, like, 17 hours a day? Bro, I wish I could live like that, my guy. Um, What about crown victories on the Fortnite stream? I got three... Because they were solos, right? Uh, what's a crown victory? So do dogs? Really? Really? I mean, I don't mind if, if I ever get a cat if it sleeps. You know, I like the chill ones. But we're not allowed to have cats in this unit, so... Sad day. Sad day. Um, what else happened? What else? So that was yesterday. I saw the new Puss in Boots movie on Saturday! I don't know why I'm so excited. <laughs> um, because I was kind of bummed because our two of my roommates, my sister and then another roommate, were like, hey, we're going to go see the Puss in Boots movie last minute. And I was like, okay, well, I can't go because I have to get my homework done. And you know how this month of classes is fucking coding? And I was kind of off of it, but I got my homework done like 30 minutes before they had to go. So I was like, can I please go with you guys? And they were like, sure. And we saw the movie and we live in like a pretty populous area. And I thought the theaters would be more filled on the weekends, right? 
But there was only like two other families in the theaters with us, and it felt weird going to see the movie as, you know, young adults, but it was still good. It was fun. You can steal crowns off people and win as well? What? Wait, crown victory is two wins right back to back. Yeah! I got I got two victory rails in a row, because I said if I get two wins in a row, then I'll gift a sub. Yeah. I got two wins in a row. Watch the VOD, Shatters. Watch the VOD for Fortnite. The Twitter is going off on the whoop for the movie. I mean, my thoughts on the movie... It was trying so hard to be the Spider-Verse movie, but I don't think the execution was as good. Like, they only really used the 2D sequences during fight scenes. And then they would do, like, a fully regular render for, like, the the filler or, like, the conversational scenes. And that was fine. But it was really weird because during some of the 2D sequences, they obviously mixed in 2D and then the 3D models. Like, the 3D models, they dropped the frame rate. So instead of going from, like, a 60, full 60 frame rate for, like, the regular uh, character animations, it would they would drop it down to, like, 30 so, like, the movement would look really choppy. Like, if they were running, it would look like this instead of full movement, right? It was really off-putting. But it was still, like, it was still a fun watch. Because you know how with most sequ sequels, it's kind of like the one special episode they have an anime where it's, like, totally unrelated to the plot. And it's just, like, they just go off with the story. That's how the movie was. But it was still, like, really fun to watch. Gotta go. Okay, bye, Crystal. People, bye. Okay, anything else happen over the weekend? I have, like, other story times written out. Because <clears throat> I've decided. Because, like, between streams, I think of topics that I can just, like, casually talk about as I play a game. And I'm, like, I'm actually starting to write them down. So I have... I have eight. I have eight that we can talk about throughout today. And, like, as usual, I think we can get into gaming. We can get to gaming. Uh, let's change our category. <clears throat> uh, we've stalled long enough. Mario Kart frogs need to eat. Oh, also, we are 30 minutes into stream, so it's time for me to, for me to tell you. If you're new here, follow the channel. Uh, if you're watching and you aren't following, be cool like us. We are one follower away from our, our long-term follower goal. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. And if you're already following, make sure your notifications turn on. That way you get notified for when I go live. Any new follows? Mod check? Okay. It's gaming time. No more stalling. We are fucking gaming. The art looks so nice back here. Like, it, it's framed perfectly. Okay, almost perfectly. We gaming. Oh, the old overlay. The old overlay. So you guys know the joke. We're gonna play games. Also, we're gonna be doing story times, so feel free to chat. As much as you like. 200cc. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold. Go back. Because my goal today oh, was to get three stars in the new DLC tracks. If we look, I am one star away from the moon track. Damn. Well, either way, I need to practice. It's been a while since I played as Isabel. Damn, I think I fucked up on the Rainbow Road track last time. Okay, so I think last time chatters are saying doing a prediction every race is a bit much, so we'll do... We'll do three stars this three. Yeah, thank you, Nix. Yeah, any primers? Okay, chatters, go Gamba. Do you think I will get three stars on this pre mini? Do you think I will get first every single race? Go Gamba. Okay, I, the last time I played Mario Kart was on stream the last time I played, so... I also haven't really practiced these new tracks. Oh, fuck, that line. I hate the city tracks, just in general. Like, they're cute, they're pretty nice to look at, but they're so hard to drive in. Because since the buildings are so close together, you can't really see what's ahead of you on the track. What happened to choose a character redemption? I got annoyed of it. Honestly. Because I, I think... 
<clears throat> you can only do something for so long before you become bored of it, you know what I mean? So it might come back. I don't know, we'll see. And then you guys would choose fucking Wario every time and make me mad. And I don't like that. Not one bit. Yeah, because I think with my current stream, like, format, it does get repetitive, but, you know, I still have fun every time. But I need to find a way to, like, mix it up a little bit, you know? Because I think the thing that makes every stream different and unique, quote-unquote, even if we do the fuck! Even if we do the same games every week, um, we talk about something different every stream, right? So... It's very much like, I feel like people watch for like the conversations we have or like what I talk about Rather than the actual gameplay. Oh, okay. I forgot about that part Sacrifice Dystopia. That's still up, but people can't redeem it. Talking about Cope of Lamb, I might have time tonight Oh, come on. So we might get to do a super secret subscriber only stream tonight. Why are you throwing behind you little bitch? Because I did dinner prep last night. Ooh, I made the best stew of my life last night. It was tomato based and also had coconut cream in it, which was interesting. Oh, come on, come on! Yeah! <laughs> Easy! Anyway, so it was tomato based and also had coconut cream. It was um, beef, carrots, tomatoes, kale, because I had a fuck ton of kale, and then squash. And you made the base room just diced tomatoes, which I got canned because I don't want to spend all day cutting tomatoes. And then tomato paste, seasonings. Really good, 10 out of 10. Dinner price for the week is always fun when I remember to do it. Yeah, that's kind of how I am too. I mean... It's different because I'm cooking for everybody in the house, so I usually cook every other night because I don't think it's good to cook for a whole week of meal prep because not all foods are good for like five days. Oh fuck, I haven't fallen in that part at all! So I usually cook every other night, so whenever I do cook, I gonna have portions for that night and then the next day. Like the stew I made last night, it made enough for dinner last night, and then, um, fuck, lunch, everybody's lunches and dinners the tomorrow, tomorrow as well. Fuck, I cannot talk. I hate this level. I hate this one. I hate it. I hate it. Is all the artwork on the wall yours now? Yes. I took down that big painting. I might put it back up, but I still have to ask if I can repaint it. Because it was left here by the previous tenants, and um, I don't know if I can paint over it. I don't want to like use it. I'm not if I'm not sure. You know what I mean? So I have to ask still. I mean they'll probably say whatever. I just have to ask the realtor or the property owner. I'm in fifth. Maybe I can come back. Wait, hold, hold. Ain't no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I had second for like two seconds. Come on, I hate this. I hate this. Dude. The craziest comeback. Dude, I genuinely thought I would get like third, but no way. Granted, this is computers. This is computers, guys. This is not online. I am not actually this correct. <laughs> Premiere Pro keyboard shortcut is closed project and screenshot current frame next to each other. That's funny. I usually don't use um, shortcuts or hotkeys for any program. And the reason why is because Whenever I like upgrade, I know with Premiere or most Adobe programs you can import whatever settings into the new updates But there was one time where I didn't import my hotkeys properly and then I got really fucking mad and I was like, I'll just learn the defaults 
And whenever you watch the tutorials, they usually use the default um, hotkeys as well. So I'm just like, I'll just keep it as is. I don't like messing with stuff too much. Oh, I, oh, I hate this line. Megan should play Minecraft? No, Minecraft is something I'm not gonna touch. Because Fortnite is for little babies, but Minecraft is for like toddlers. And I don't want little toddlers watching me. And you know why? It's because they don't, they don't have money. So they can't give me money anyway. <laughs> you know, we want Oilers. And Oilers watch Mario Kart players. Fuck me. I play Minecraft? Point proven. Minecraft so much fun? I don't think so. I can't even watch people play Minecraft. It's so like boring to watch. The only thing that makes Minecraft like entertaining is when people have like RP servers. You know, that's what makes it entertaining. So it's not the fucking game, it's the people who play the game that make it entertaining. I think it's also because I don't have like a lot of imagination. Even when I was younger, I didn't like daydream a lot. I didn't like draw original things a lot. I just had... I'm not that type of person. And I feel like Minecraft is for people who have, like, imagination, right? I remember I went to my friend's house, and this was in, like, 8th grade, so we must have been, like, 13, 14. And <laughs> it was a sleepover, and there was, like, another girl, so it was me and the two other girls at her house, right? And she was so excited to show me her Minecraft server. And I was just like, this is whatever. I'm like, I don't, I don't get the game. I don't get it. How to unsub? Fuck. <laughs> um, how to unsub? You click gifty sub, select five, and then that's how you unsub. <laughs> Surely that's right. Wait, did I get first? No way. No way. <laughs> BRB sobbing. I don't hate Minecraft players. I just don't like the game. And the guy who made the game is a bad guy. Okay? Not saying that I am not able to separate the art from the artist, but it's still hard to like not think about that. You know what I mean? Ooh, final race. I think after 200cc, I want to practice these in 150, just so I can like work on the actual like lines. I just fuck. I just wanted to start with 200, just to like feel something. Oh, I hate that part. Um, gentle reminder. Whoever makes the best clips for the month of January will get a Twitch gift card. Wowie. On Kobobo 1 for the month of December. So, does anybody think they can beat Kobobo this month? Okay, bye, Nyx. We'll see you later. Thank you for hanging out today. Once again, thank you for your Prime sub as well. It's a pleasure. We'll see you next time. Dude, I hate this line. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna play the Harry Potter game when it comes out. I- Okay. Don't get mad at me! Don't cancel me! But I never really liked Harry Potter. It was never my type of genre or book. I don't have a lot of imagination, so not being able to, like, have pictures or, like, understand what's going on, especially with it being magic to where, like, it's not real. Where it's not something I can, like, see in the real world. I just couldn't, like, get into it. The movies were all right. Like, the movies were more fun because you could actually see what's going on. But it's just not for me. Seeing, like, the Harry Potter section in Universal does seem kind of fun. But just reading the books was not my cup of tea. I can't refund my pre order. Yeah. That's why it's like. It, it'd be different if, like,. Oh my god, if the creator didn't get like royalties for whatever purchases you did make, but since they are, it's just kind of like 
It's like, damn. Something that I do see that people are doing is that they'll buy the game, but then they'll also, like, donate the cost equivalent to, like, a... Um... To, like, pro-trans organizations, which I think is a really good way to countermeasure, you know. <clears throat> I watched the first movie in the first book, and it's not my thing. Yeah, that's what I am, too. Like, I remember my friend... This is in, like, middle school. Like, they came over, and they were like, Oh, we should watch, like, the first three Harry Potter movies. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. And then I could barely get through, like, the second one. I was like, I don't like this. I don't like this. Yeah, that's definitely what I would do if I chose to buy the game. But I have no interest in buying the game. So you know what? I'm set. I'm good. I am solid. Easy. Three stars on this pre. 200 CC. Easy clap. Ever consider playing any PC games for stream? I have. It's just with my setup, since I'm doing laptop, it'd be very hard to stream from the laptop and play games. Since we did unlock Geometry Dash, I might buy, like, the Steam version of Geometry Dash, because it's not on the Switch until later this year. Um, because Geometry Dash is a game where I could play it on, like, a smaller window, right? Laptop specs? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, like, specifics for any of my tech. I just- it's a Alienware M17, hashtag not sponsored. I mean, I know it can game if I really wanted to, but I typically use it for, like, creative stuff, so, like, editing, homework. I would just have to adjust my processors and, like, um... What you call it? And drivers. Okay, chatters, new game, but do you think I will get three stars on this pre? I have yet to earn three stars on this pre at 200 CC. Hopefully I'll get it this time. Fuck! I promise I'm learning the lines. I don't update our PC. I do. I have auto-update turned on, like, actually this morning. Um, if you're following my alt channel, Meg underscore esports, my capture card was glitching, so I had to, like, troubleshoot it and shit. But it's just OBS that was fucking up. So, and then when I checked, I was like, I updated my computer this weekend, and then I checked my settings, and it said, oh, you have three updates available. I was like, oh, fuck. So it could have actually been that, but it wasn't. It was just OBS glitching. And it's not because of the new OBS update that came out last week, because I chose to not update it. So I wanted to wait. So I think it's just the capture cards that were being silly. Do I update my GPU? Yeah. I manually check those once a week. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate this. Because my parents, their personal laptops, they refuse to update. I have no idea why, because they got those laptops back in like... 20, like, 12 and 14, so they're, like, almost 10 years old, and they refuse to update them. So whenever they boot up their computers, it takes, like, 5-10 minutes for it to even, like, open up and load, and then it's laggy as fuck. And I was looking at them, because they were like, how do I make it faster? I was like, well, you gotta update it, and there's, like, probably, like, hundreds, possibly, of updates that they could have downloaded, but they just refused to. And it's just so frustrating. Because <laughs> they're both so clueless. My mom used to be like that and she got scared of hackers. Ugh. It's like, any device can get hacked. That's why you gotta make sure you have like a VPN and shit. To help mitigate it as much as you can. Oh, what's next? Oh, yeah, it's Peach Gardens. Oh, well, we're still gonna do the Mega Sports Mario Kart Tournament this month. I don't think we're gonna do Mario Party. We'll probably do, like, second tournament events starting in February, so don't worry about it, Chatters. But we will for sure do the Mario Kart Tournament at the end of the month.
I've never been the type to enjoy like luxurious or extravagant things, but if I ever do have a substantial amount of money in my life, I want to have like a large property and make like a big garden like this you see now in Peach Gardens. I would love to like, because imagine how cute it would be to like have a property like this and make it into like a wedding venue. Wouldn't that be so like adorable? And like, if I ever had like a house with multiple rooms, I'd want to put like an art piece into every room. Like paint the walls into like, doing like murals or something. Oh, I keep on seeing videos of, like people painting their staircases. And it looks so cool. I don't think I'd want a rose garden though, because those are pretty difficult to maintain. This line! Paint somebody else's staircase and then charge them? Okay, my goal with art long term is to make stuff on my own, establish my own style and brand, and then be paid to paint murals or some of some sort. Or like, you know how when you in some cities on like the electrical boxes they have like illustrations that are printed onto them? I would love to be commissioned to do something like that. Like that genuinely is one of my long term goals. To have my art onto like a city electrical box. It's been in my about section for literally the whole time I've been streaming. Chatters, check my about section. That's literally been my joking, not joking life goal. Because how iconic is that? People see your work every day when they drive to work or the grocery store. I think that'd be fucking sick. Easy. Oh, I don't think I could ever sculpt. Sculpting is difficult. Working with 3D is drastically different from 2D. I want to learn, but 3D art is very difficult to get into because it's just very expensive. And it's like, I don't want to get into like another medium if I have to spend like hundreds of dollars to get supplies just for it. Like my sister is definitely a lot better at sculpting than I am. Um, I want her to get into ceramics again, but you know, it's one of those things where she has to be like inspired to work. She would never work on her own. And especially when she doesn't have the time because you know, she works all the time. Shoutouts. Okay, I'm gonna try this path. Oh, I don't mind it. Okay, that path was a lot more fun. I don't know if it's shorter, but it's kind of fun. I'm talking about presents. <laughs> that was one of my... I have two topics concerning presents. <laughs> oh, wait! I forgot! Okay. I have to go grab one of the presents I got. I'll grab it during the ad break. Fuck, it, that was gonna be used as the topic. Fuck, anyway. <laughs> um, shit. Anyway. I've always been the type to not enjoy getting people presents because I don't like the idea of buying something and then not liking it. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't want to buy my friend candles or something and they just lie and say they love it, but then they throw it away or donate it. Because I know I for sure have like re-gifted or donated things that I've gotten for holiday or birthdays. And I feel bad doing it, but I, I don't like having clutter. My room is very messy still, but I just don't like having like excess things that I don't necessarily need. So I've always been the type where I'd rather make a gift like, make them a little painting or something. Or, like, make them an actual card. Like, this year, I painted my friend's paintings. I'll post them on Twitter soon once they're all done. Because I have yet to get... Because I made six, and I have four... Or three and a half done. Because I think... I think making gifts is so much more meaningful! I forgot, that was the last lap. Okay, let's do the next race because it's the final one. Fuck. Um, I'm sorry, believers. I failed. It, this is why people don't talk when they play games on stream. It's because they get distracted. 
you know, it's not because we're trying to be boring, it's because we actually want to play the game well. Damn. <clears throat> sad day, sad day. I live to distract- no, it wasn't chat, I was just focusing on the story. Because, like, it's very hard to formulate, like, what I'm talking about normally in normal conversation. And it's drastically harder when you're on stream. And that was something I didn't fully realize until I started streaming myself, you know what I mean? And I feel like it's something nobody will understand until they try it themselves. <laughs> I'm not gonna trick off those ramps, it's not worth it. You know, it's not even worth it to try and get a first place. <laughs> Why did you drop the banana mid-air? That was d -win. I don't have this track memorized at all. Oh! Oh, that was close! I'm in second. Huh? Okay, I don't like this part. That part is always look weird. Okay, I saw somebody like coast over this whole section. Hey, yo, that's so much quicker! Actually, speedrunning! Ooh, there we go! Finally didn't fall off. Dude, if I had to fuck up the Christmas level... God damn. Hi, Ray, welcome in! Now, don't worry about it. Can we get some peace I too, yo's for Ray? Welcome in! I thought I missed you. Uh, we are live. I know you're kind of new, right? But this is our normal stream schedule. I cannot spell schedule, right? <laughs> it's also my about section. But we are still live, baby. Okay, we gotta try this pre again. Because I messed up. You know who else is messing up? The non-subs. Because, guys, we are about an hour to stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your copy and get ad previewing all month long. Or click subscribe, see if you have a prime available. I forgot to point. Thank you for sure. I usually have commands for, like, frequently asked questions, so search away. Um, after the ad, I need to go grab something from downstairs. Anyway. So if you want to avoid that ad, subscribe, get some water, get a snack, we'll see some of you guys in a few. If you have to watch that ad, no problem. I just uploaded a new TikTok, so go like it, go leave a comment. Anyway, get some water, get a snack. Okay. We are going to go into a brief emote-only mode as I go downstairs. So you guys spam your favorite follower, your favorite sub emotes, and they'll show up on screen. Wowie, holy moly. I'm also gonna grab our water. I'm back.
Here, look. Hi, Ethan. Welcome in. Isn't this crazy? So this is one of the plushies my friend got me for Christmas. It's huge. It's <laughs> it's like it's like as big as my torso. It's funny. Wait, no, my sister got me this fuck. Okay, but look at it. Isn't it huge? Cause she was like, and it's like it's like the perfect huggable size. It's perfect. Um, I kept it downstairs because I need to like clean off my stream couch. But yeah, ain't it cute? It's cute. It's like whenever when I got it, because um one of our roommates they were out of town for Christmas and they were like, Well, we can still open the presents I got you, just get them out of my closet. And this was wrapped in like a big bag. Well you can kinda see them. Okay. Um, so they were like, oh, you can still, like, open the presents. And then my sister hid that in their closet as well. And when I unwrapped it, my sister was like, oh, yeah, our roommate got it for you. And I was like, oh, my God, thank you. But then they were like, well, actually, we bought it together. So technically, your sister bought it. I was like, oh, good one. I was like, why would she lie about getting me a plushie? But you are a Pokemon hater. I'm a Pokemon game hater. Actually, actually. I really like the new Pokemon game. I do actually like it. But I think the only reason why I like it so much is because I like the open world aspect. Okay, we gotta try this pre again. I fucked up. Let's do Link. Yeah, so my sister got me that plushie. Oh, you can't even see it on this scene. You can't see it. You have one just like it with a party hat on? Oh, that's so cute. Right there. Look at it. Isn't it cute? It's cute. Okay, let's try this goddamn pre again. Believers, do you think I'll get three stars on this attempt to go gamble? <clears throat> well, white balance went crazy. But, oh my god. So my sister, she left the receipt in the bag, right? Actually, clueless. That is bad gift-giving etiquette. You're supposed to give the receipt only if they want to return it. So, because, like, the first thing I look for whenever I get a gift is a card, right? But at the, at the bottom of the bag was the receipt. It was $90. <laughs> Which is a lot, right? But I okay, I genuinely thought it would it would have costed more than ninety dollars. Not gonna lie. There's like multiple five hundred dollar Pokemon plushies. I know. Oh, dude, what the fuck am I doing? So I was still like, oh my god, ninety dollars is a lot. But I thought it'd be more. I thought it'd be like a hundred fifty dollar plushie. But still, I'm glad it wasn't as expensive. Because she said she was going to try and find me, like, an Aurora plushie, you know, from Animal Crossing. But she said she couldn't find one that was new. They were all, like, collectibles, and they were, like, $200. And I was like, oh, yeah, don't buy that. <laughs> so since my sister got me that large Pikachu plushie, it's been very hard to not to w not to want to buy more. Because we went to, like, a few, like, shops over the weekend. And they had a bunch of like anime merch, a bunch of Pokemon merch, and I kept on seeing like so many like Pokemon plushies and the urge, the desire to just fill my whole couch back here with Pokemon plushies is very hard to combat. I really want to buy more, but I know once I buy plushies, I'm never going to be able to stop. I just need to never buy plushies ever. Because even when I was younger, I didn't have many plushies or stuffed animals. I think it's because I was kind of paranoid that they would get dirty. Because even when I was little, I was kind of like germaphobic. Because not many people clean their plushies. Because you ever see those videos where people like refurbish? And like re -stuff, stuffed animals, and they're like fucking disgusting and like brown because they never clean them. Okay, I'm resetting. I'm resetting. I got fucking seventh. 
bad run. I'm resetting. Because our goal today is to get a three star in the spring. I'm resetting. I'm resetting. I have like five slow put plushies. Oh, see, that's what I want too. I'm trying to think. If I could get a Pokemon plushie, what would I get? Let's do Link again. I think... Okay, call me basic. Call me basic. But I think I would want, like, all the Eevee evolutions. I think that'd be so cute. Oh my god, you know what I was really into when I was little? I was really into collecting Little's pet shops. Because, like, the whole gimmick... Sorry, I had to move my chair back. The whole gimmick is you're supposed to, like, collect them all, right? So every year for Christmas, I would spend all my Christmas money on fucking Little's pet shops. And then my sister would buy Barbies. And I remember we had a whole bin. Like, you know those Home Depot buckets? A whole bucket that big filled with Little's pet shops. And then one year we just gave them to, like, the little five-year-old neighbor down the street. Because it's like, what's the point of selling them? Or, like, garage selling them? Like, you might as well give them to a kid who's gonna play with it, right? Oh my god, I hate this part. I hate this track. I think this has become my least favorite. It's so hard to memorize. There's way too many vehicles. You can't really see ahead. The music is very nice, though. I was doing so well on my first attempt of the day. Okay, I'm charging. Okay, that was decent. I cannot afford the row. I got you baited, I got you baited. Did you get Shopkins? Oh, I I know what Shopkins are. It's on the tip of my tongue. What is it? Are those stuffed animals? They sound so familiar. I think they were like just past my time. Because I stopped playing with toys or I stopped buying toys when I was like 12. So like 6th grade. Oh my fucking god! Oh my god, you motherfucker putting it right on the finish line! Sorry. I got first, I'm fine, I'm good. I'm calm. I love Mario Kart. Were Shopkins like knockoff build a bears? That's what I that's what I feel like they were. I'm cursing a lot today. I'm sorry, chat's moms. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. They were little figures. All that I really remember from childhood is just Little's Pet Shops, Polly Pockets, and then Barbies. Because those were the only toys we really bought. liked was you know the little erasers that you see at like Daiso that are shaped like food we really like those oh fuck oh no because we would use them to like play with our Barbies something that I think would be really fun to get into would be making miniatures like with clay and stuff because I see all those like little mini houses that people make with paper or clay and I just think it's so Cool. Like being able to like fully sculpt and render 
that small it takes a lot of skill. Like, whenever I see one of those crafting videos, I have to watch it. I just watch in amazement. Because you can't really work with your hands when you're working that small. Like, you have to use the little utensils and knives and tools. I also get really frustrated when people complain about artists or crafters charging a lot for their work. I think it's because people realize that it takes hours and hours to make a final product. So even if it's small or seems simplistic, it still takes time to make that craft. Because essentially when you're buying art, you're paying for the supplies, the time it took to make it, and then also the time it took the person to learn how to make it. Because you're paying for their skilled craft. That's why people who have like college educations or have a trade skill certification, they get paid more. Because they took the years of education and schooling to learn how to do it. So it's like, I would gladly pay more for like a handcrafted item or something that somebody made on their own. Like, I don't care if it costs like 50 hundred bucks more if it's something that I genuinely like and enjoy and I want to like have on my own. I mean, granted, I can't necessarily afford to buy like a $50 handcrafted mug whenever I want to, but ultimately I understand that all that money is going to support that individual creator or that person's like studio is not going to some mega corp billionaire who outsources all their manufacturing to like foreign countries where they have slave wages, you know. Okay, I need to try our I need that three star gold trophy. Stream ends when I get all three stars. <laughs> I think that's one thing I'm also kind of scared about when I do start selling my paintings. Um, because I'm only going to sell originals for the time being. I understand that prints are more accessible to people. But to me, when I paint or when I draw or make art, I'm giving away a piece of myself. Whether it be my time. Because whenever I paint something, I remember what I was thinking. I remember what I was doing at the time. Because sometimes paintings take, like, weeks to do. So, whenever you're working on a project that takes so long, you're giving away, like, a part of your life, essentially. And I feel like prints... It's not, it's not the same. It's because prints are meant for mass production. And a lot of the times with prints, they are harder to produce. Because you gotta find, like, a print shop that is decently priced and, like, quote-unquote, ethically made. And also, like, with certain, like, art pieces, they don't look as good in a print, in my opinion. Oh my god, you motherfucker! That was good, that was good. I'll admit you got me. How am I in fourth? I'm resetting. I got boomed. That's not fair. Not fair at all. I'm sorry, believer. Surely. Surely I'll beat this pre today. Okay, maybe Link is bad luck. Oh, we haven't played Rosalina in a while. One of my friends has sent 300 Discord messages every day for the past month. I think that is crazy. 300? That is actual insanity. I would- okay. I would not be friends with that person if they were pinging me that fucking much. Oh my god. I get annoyed when people like double text. Because that annoys me. Like, if they, like, break their sentences up into multiple messages, I personally find that annoying as fuck. Because just in general, I get, like, anxious whenever I get a notification. Um, I don't know if it's, like, a PTSD trigger. It could actually be. 
good. This chatters know. Uh, my parents got into an accident a few years ago. And the one time, the one fucking time where I didn't, like, answer a text message right away was when they got into an accident. So, <laughs> fuck. So I always have the, like, underlying fear that, like, something bad has happened whenever I get, like, an email or a text or a call. And it's hard to, like, fight that. So I remember I had a friend um, who would, like, send multiple messages. Like, they would break up their sentences into multiple messages, so I would get, like, multiple Discord pings when... Like, I would get five pings if they were trying to say one fucking sentence. And I tried to explain to them, I was like, please avoid doing that. I know it's, like, your personality to, like, type that way, but, like, please try to avoid it, because it really fucking tr it low key triggers me. And they tried their best to respect that, and that was good. But I, I fucking hate when people double text like that. Because, to me, the reason why people do that is to get your attention. It's to get your fucking attention. Because, in, usually in their heads, they're like, Well, if you're not going to answer my message now, if you see that you have, like, five missed messages from me, then you'll respond to me, right? Uh, it, it's just, I hate it. I hate it so much. Not really? Well, that's how I assume most people think. It'd be different if, like, if I was getting, like, multiple messages, like, each message was a sentence. But when they break up their messages into, like, two words per line, it's like, uh But some people are the type to never respond either. <laughs> that is me. <laughs> oh my god, enemy fucking reset it. I'm resetting. I'm resetting. I'm resetting. Fuck it, dude. What is wrong with me today? I think the reason why I don't respond regularly is because I just I just don't like talking to people sometimes. You know, it's just like anxiety brain. I think it's also like I don't like casual conversation. Like I, I think I can be sociable, but I don't I just don't like talk about normal shit. It's like if you need something, tell me. And if you don't need something, leave me alone. Uh, it, it, cause, it's cause like I have a very limited like social battery, I've learned. And it's hard to like communicate that how I am to my friends without like being mean. Or it's not that it's mean, it's just hard for them to, like, understand. Because they'll usually see it as me intentionally, like, being a bad friend. And me. Fuck, fuck this track. Fuck this track, honestly, not gonna lie. I hate this track. I hate this track. It's not fun. It's insanely difficult to learn. Ooh, double item box. I missed it. Leaving somebody hanging if I am struggling is an excuse. I kind of get that too, but it's like... I try my best to respond, but some days I just can't. And then it gets to a point where it's like, you haven't replied back in like a week, and then you're like, fuck, it's been a week. And then I'm like, what's the point of even replying at this point? I think it's because the reason why I'm not as, like, used to texting is because I didn't text much when I was in, like, high school. When that's, like, your peak age to, like, be on your phone all the time. Like, obviously, if somebody is reaching out to me about, like, something more serious, or if they reach out that they're struggling, then I will, like, be adamant about replying. But if we're just talking about normal shit, I'm just like, uh... I don't have, like, the mental energy for something like that right now. It's because the way I treat texting, I don't treat it, like, casually, I guess. I treat it like I would a normal conversation. I'm resetting! <sighs> I'm resetting. I'm resetting. 
Oh yeah, when people are at you in Discord servers, cringe. I hate this pre. I hate it. I hate it. I promise I'm good at this game. I promise. Let's go again. I'm not even doing predictions. I'm just like, I'm not going to be able to do it. Hi, <laughs> Dios mío. Anyway, I treat texting as like real conversation, so I put like just as much like thought into it. Like when I text, I like sit for like a minute or two sometimes to like think of a reply back. Like I just don't like blah, 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 quickly reply. Oh, they at people all the time. Oh no, I hate that shit. Oh, dude, I keep on getting- I, that line fucks me up every time. <laughs> Did you say yeehaw? <laughs> yeah, that's another reason why I don't want a Discord server for a while is because I don't know who's gonna come in. And I get really annoyed when people, like, break the rules. Like, it really annoys me. So it's just like, I just don't want to deal with it. Hi, Slavion. Welcome in. Can we get some peace out to Yos? Welcome in, hon. Oh, that motherfucker took my double iron box. Yeah, I need to. Let's talk about something lighter, please. Because I think this topic is pissing me off. <laughs> Loki IQ. Oh my god, we went to the cat cafe, right? Some of the cats were like permanent residents, and then some of them were like up for adoption. And my sister was like, oh my god, Megan, if you could adopt one cat, which one would you pick? And I'm like, don't even entertain this idea. Don't entertain this little daydream thought you have, because you know, you know we can't take one home. But honestly, any cat. I think if I ever were to like adopt a cat, I obviously would get a shelter one, because you know you gotta give all the little cats at home, but I think I'd want an older one. Cause, call me weird, but I don't like playing with cats, like, you know, little cat toys? Cause whenever I play with cats, like, at, at friends' house and stuff, they would always get unnecessarily aggressive, and I would come home with, like, scratches and bite marks, and I didn't like that shit. Fuck me! Oh my god, I got so close! <laughs> <laughs> fuck this level, fuck this stage. It's how you raise it? Yeah. Well, it's because, like, a lot of my friends, they're, like, all energetic and they like playing with the cats aggressively. Okay, not, like, meanly, but, like, more aggressive. But, you know, I just want a cat who will rub against my legs. Nuzzle, sit on my lap, you know, maybe sleep on my bed when I quit. Or when I quit, when I sleep. Oh my god. Meg can never speedrun. You know, that's why we're not a speedrunning channel. Let's go again. I have talked about two topics on my list. Okay, I'm not talking. I'm not talking this race. First fucking turn. Yeah, I'm still not talking. I'm only talking if I'm pausing.
I was doing like decently on like the second lap. Am I ever gonna get this three star? I just wanna like beat fucking Berlin. That way I can get to the other goddamn levels. Okay, I'll talk now. I'll talk now. I'm annoyed. But surely I'll beat it. See, this is why I can't ever speedrun like legitimately a game. Because I don't like doing something I'm bad at. I don't like failing over and over and over again. It's just so discouraging for me. I'm not, like, I'm very, like, strong, like, mentally, in most cases. <laughs> but if I see myself failing, I can't do it. it. It kills my motivation to do, like, anything. Okay, I didn't fall for the first turn. Let's go. That's the best part. No, it, it's not. The only good part about finally, like, learning a strat or a skip is the moment you learn it, but everything else is pain and suffering. And I don't like suffering and I don't like being in pain. Motherfucker. I saw you. <laughs> I think I boomed in the air. I do, of course you do, Titans. You self-report every day. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wait, I'm in first? No, ain't no way. Holy. <laughs> I get boom. Guys, this could be it. This could be finally be it. After what, five attempts? Okay, this line. Could just go on the grass there. That is possible. Don't jinx it. I never jinx anything. When is Arcane Season 2 gonna come out? Because the show is beautiful, and watching Puss in Boots in theaters reminded me of how pretty Arcane was, because of how, like, not as well executed Puss in Boots was at. 2 and 3D. Oh, you motherfucker, I see you! Finally! Jesus Christ. Finally. It's been so long. You know, it isn't long. The time we spend together. And you can spend more time with me and chat if you follow the channel. Because we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, follow the channel. You get cool emotes and you can sub chat. We are one follower away from our long-term goal of 650. Any new chatters want to follow? <laughs> and if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Okay, I have finally gotten a first place in Berlin. These other tracks are gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy, I promise. Surely. <laughs> Meg being an actual clock. I just look at my uptime. And it's easy because I just look at like, oh, when I'm at an hour, I say this. And then when I'm at 30 minutes, I say this. Easy peasy. Oh, I didn't get anybody. Come on. Oh, wait, this is 200 CC. I thought I was gonna do 150, but this is 200. <laughs> Maybe that's why I keep taking L after L. Oh, I can trick there. I don't know if it's really smart to do, though. I used to 
not mind the squid ink on the screen, but now I actually hate it. Because if you don't have the track memorized, then... Then you just can't see. <laughs> you can't rely on knowing your lines. Oh, thank you, Titans. I appreciate that. You know, I need every little crumb of pullout I can get. <laughs> I'm kidding! Unless... No. <laughs> Dude, I think unless has got to be my favorite phrase. I'm trying to think. I don't know if I learned it from somebody. Because I feel like a lot of my, you can say, catchphrases for stream I've heard from somebody. But I don't know if I've said, like, unless. If I've learned that from someone. Because I know no way, like, Tectone says that a lot. Unless... Did I start the unless meta? I can't remember. Anyway, I got first place easy. Rest of these tracks are gonna be it. Let's actually do the prediction now. Now that I've finally beaten Berlin. Do you guys think I will get three stars in this free finally? Go Gamba, go Gamba. Anybody genuinely believe? Holy 10k in doubt? Holy moly, you crazy. Daddy for the drama? Of course, of course you are. Any hardcore believers? Um, one gifted sub and I'll throw up right now. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh! Dodged it. <laughs> no, you ain't. Yeah, I am. You know, I believe in the sanctity of my predictions. For the most part. There's only one time I scammed. And that time will not be mentioned. Does anyone remember when I actually scammed? I, I'm gen asking genuinely, because I don't remember. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. That was way too close. Okay, guys. I now have the first three tracks. First place. I have this in the back. Surely I won't fuck up on Rainbow Road, the hardest tracks in the whole game. Wait, I just saw the prediction 7k and believe? Holy moly. Everybody's gambling today. I mean, gambiting. Because, of course, we don't gamble. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, come on. I'm actually trying. I'm actually trying. Okay, I'm only in third. Thank God, thank God.
I'm so scared! We're gonna fly, we're gonna we're flying. Okay, final section! Nailed it! Let's fucking go! Oh. oh my god, finally, after 30 minutes, I've gotten first place in all tracks, 200cc moon cup. That one, I fucked up so many times in that last race. Like, genuinely so many times. But you know what? That's a win for the Believers. Finally, a dub for them. Three stars in the spree? Yes, of course. Minus 10k, Believers. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Finally, now we can actually do online. <laughs> I've been stalling all morning. Or all afternoon, rather. Holy! Oh, Worldwide is better. I got robbed. Well, I think you just... Use your points poorly. Let's go. I have to go to work now? Damn, you can't even earn your channel points back. Sad day. Doubled my medallions? Dude, let's fucking go. I always say go big or go home. <laughs> say, I've never gambled, like, actually in my life. I've never even bought lottery tickets. I'm so scared. Because the reason why people like gambling is because they like the anticipation or the thought of winning. And I know once I start, I'm going to get, not addicted, but I'll grow attached to that feeling. So that's why I just don't even touch gambling. I don't touch lottery tickets. <laughs> Look at the guy's name. <laughs> I only gamble on Pokemon cards. I wanted to like start collecting Pokemon cards. Cause like, okay. I've learned that watching people open packs is just as good. It's just as good for me. Like, I think the Pokemon meta on Twitch was one of my favorite metas. Like, when people would be like, I spent 20,000 on this box of cards. And then they get nothing. <laughs> oh. Man, this race is taking forever. Ooh, they've come back from a lovely. Now heading into ninth. Halfway through lap three. Come on, they can come back. Their blue skin blending in with the level of the track. Maybe they can evade some other racers and dodge some shells. They have a triple mushroom. Oh, they got hit by a bomb. Oh no. Dude, their lines are actually horrible. They're nearly as bad as mine. Okay, we will do... One prediction for online. I'll keep the prediction open for... Five minutes. The prediction is for... Do you think I will get any... Any first place today. We'll play for maybe 30 ish minutes. Go Gambit. Do you think I will get any first place today? There have been a few streams where I've gotten none. There have been a few streams where I've gotten two or three. 
So it is possible. I am doing worldwide lobby, so I'm probably getting a lot of, like, international people. Because I don't think many, like, 10-year-olds are playing at 2 p.m. on a school day. That's where there's like directional hearing. Like when a few cars collided in the air just now, I heard them on the right side of my headset. That's a wild. I'm not used to playing with my headset still for Mario Kart. How do I still spin out? That is not fair. <laughs> So many sweats in here. What? I thought I would have hit somebody there. Wait, top three? I fell off. Uh, that turn always messes me up. I always cut it too sharp. Okay, no items. That's unfortunate. But also entirely my wrongdoing. Okay. Ignore this. That was my first race of online today. Getting used to people, okay? Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Surely I can come back from this. It's practice exactly. Warming up. Even though we've been playing for like <laughs> a while. I'm warming up. Yeah, I think I will have time for Cult of the Lamb tonight. So subs, you're getting a bonus stream tonight. I also realized I haven't played Cult of the Lamb in a month. And I have to like, relearn how to play, I guess. <laughs> It'll be fun. I'm trying to think of like, which painting I want to do next. Cause what I'm doing for my initial few is I'm like, painting like old sketch cards that I've made and like elevating the initial design because I think my new schedule since the art channel for stream is going to be on hiatus because I'm going to be focusing on speed paintings um peep the pin message go follow the new art tiktok I think my new weekly plan is Monday grocery shopping or like errands and shit and then Oh, I hate this path. I thought this was mirror mode for a second. It's not. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday stream. Painting on either Monday or Friday. And then homework during the weekends and then hangout or whatever. Because I've come to realize... Because I used to paint like on days after stream and I tried that for a little bit. But I noticed that my focus is best during the midday. Because after like 2 p.m. I crash usually. So I can't really paint in the evening anymore, unless I'm like, really into it. Okay, I hit one guy. I have one guy. Oh, I have the craziest idea. I have the craziest idea. 
for like art streams whenever I can stream on my art TikTok. I'm gonna tell you guys the idea. Nobody snitch because it's a really good idea. Um, the concept is gonna be I write every word in the dictionary. And it's just exactly what it is. It's gonna be like calligraphy stream POV. And I just write every single word of the dictionary super nice and pretty. And I, I think it's such a stupid gimmick, but it's so funny to me. Like, I laid in bed last night just thinking of that, and I was like, oh, that's so funny. Because <laughs> obviously I'm never going to, like, write all the words, because that's going to take ages. Even, like, typing out the words is going to take a while. But I just think it's... You're gonna write PP? <laughs> no, of course I would have to skip certain words. Wait, this is mirror mode! Oh my god. I was wondering, like, what's fucking wrong with this? It is mirror mode. Make it rainbow, yeah! Obviously. Cause like, imagine how pretty that would be. It'd be so cute. When you don't even finish the A's, I know. But wouldn't that be such, like, a fun, like, throwaway concept? Like, anytime I feel, like, in the mood to do calligraphy, I just go on TikTok and then I write the dictionary words. <laughs> I, I just think it'd be, like, something really fun and chill. I don't think I'd ever do it on this channel. Because I feel like people would like it for one day and then get bored of it. That's why we only do calligraphy once a month. Because that has some sort of, like, novelty to it. I don't know. I, I swear, I think of my best ideas when I'm laying in bed doing nothing. And then because of those ideas, I stay up all night thinking about those ideas. And then I just don't sleep. I hate Ninja Hideaway. I really hope with the upcoming DLC tracks we get Toad's Factory. I really hope we do. Because I've gotten basically every other track that I've wanted. play Mario Kart every day. Like, what's the daily user base? Oh, come on. Uh, bro. no horror games. I can just play Mario Kart and that scares me just as much. Just the guy falling off in the distance. You know, I focus so much on everybody else in the game. I think that's why I never win. Except for today because I will get a first place today. You know, I've clutched for the believers already. I can do it again. But that was pretty good. Dodge the bullet. Ooh, I got a bullet in sixth place. Interesting. <laughs> Game changer! Wait, hold, everybody hold. Hold.
Ooh. I don't know if I can catch up. Okay, well that was pretty good. I held second for almost the whole lap. Wait, for a whole lap actually. Okay. Maybe I might actually get a dub today. Oh, what's nice is that if you finish top three, you get to spawn near the start of the finish line. So I have a huge advantage for this upcoming race. I'm gonna try and replay Dark Side? Yeah, try and figure out your PB time hacker. Oh, I want to get a crown today. I think I could do it. Why can't they make public transportation free? Because you always hear whenever they want to like push for like a larger budget for public transit, they're like, oh, we're going to build this new train route. And then it's going to garner millions in income because we will charge the people to ride the train. But it's like, why can't they just make it free? You know what's cool? In Washington, for our county, they did make children free. Like, you just have to have a kid's pass, which is free. And then I think seniors only pay a dollar now, but everybody else pays two dollars. Which I think is pretty cool. Kids ride free? Epic. You know, I've been in public transit my whole life. Uh, my parents were both able to drive when I was younger, but if we could still take the bus sometimes, we would. And I like public transit. I don't mind it too much. The only thing I don't like is, of course, when there's, like, weird people. But, you know, I can't. That'll happen anywhere you go. I'm just sitting back, not having to worry about, like, getting places. Cause I feel very safe in a bus. There's not too often that, like, something crazy will happen. My sister- oh my god. She was telling me she was riding the bus home from work one day. And she said a car, like, scraped the side of the bus. But, like, just lightly grazed it. And she was, like, saw it happen, but, like, the car kept going, the bus kept going. Because, obviously, if a car is coming towards you on a bus, the bus is probably gonna win, right? Yeah, I think, um, for some people, if you have a disability, you can apply for, like, a, a special bus pass. And then you can get- you can pay, like, a monthly or, like, a quarterly fee. But it's still- it's still discounted. You just get, like, a special bus pass. The delay stink. What is pretty nice about the area we moved to, there's more bus routes, they run more often. And they're usually pretty much on time every time. The only time they were late was when we had the ice and snowstorms a few weeks ago. And even then! Because, like, the area we live in, a lot of areas in Washington are, are pretty hilly. But our area is really hilly. And they had they had all the bus routes going. Which is crazy. <laughs> I, I boomed that guy at the end! <laughs> Okay, I still got six plays. Peach is happy. I'm happy. The only thing that, like, kind of bothered me was during peak pandemic. Oh, I think the worst feeling if you're riding public transit is when the bus, like, passes you. Like, especially, um... Because, like, there's some routes in our area that are, like, at the station. Some that have, like, little booth. And then some that are just like the pole saying, oh, this is a bus stop with no bench. There's been so many times. Okay, not so many. I'm, I've only seen this a couple times where like there'll be somebody just standing at the regular bus stop that just has the pole and the driver will just like not see them and just keep going. I 
that has to be like the worst feeling as the as the what you call it as the writer because that's happened to me before and it's just like damn because now you're like you can't really like run after the bus because they're not really supposed to stop and like let people on besides a designated stop for like safety reasons but i remember during like peak pandemic they had like maximum capacities for the bus so they would only let like 10 people ride the whole bus when they can normally seat like probably 20 people but probably could fit 30 to 40 if people were standing right but they would only allow 10 people on the bus and i felt so bad because they obviously did those for like safety like trying to maintain as much distance between passengers but they would like change the sign on the bus to say maximum capacity and then if you're waiting at your bus stop and you see that you're like oh well i guess i gotta wait another 30 minutes or an hour for the next bus what is nice is that I know our county, they have like an app to where you can see most like in real time bus routes like as they're approaching and stuff. But sometimes for some like buses, they don't do that. And it's just like, how do they not have the technology to like not track buses in real time? Like why not do it for every bus? Oh, I knew they were going to boom me. I knew it. I definitely would like to be able to ride trains more. Because I remember sometimes we would take like weekend trips to Seattle and just take the train. Because I think Amtrak runs through most every single state across the country. You've never been on a train? Come on, you got to one day, man. Oh, a train to California from Washington is like 30 hours. Because <laughs> my sister for funsy, she was trying to like plan out a trip to California for like Nintendo World, right? And we were looking at prices for plane tickets and we were like, oh, well that's not as bad as we thought it'd be. And we were like, let's see what the train is. And the train costs nearly as much for like a business class because obviously if you're going to do like an overnight ride, you're probably going to want to like get a nice comfy suite. Like a train Amtrak from like Washington to California, 30 hour ride business class is like $400 one way, which is crazy. I mean, I think regular, um, what's it called? Not business. What's it called for if you're a normie? Economy. Economy. Normal economy class was like 150 one way. But still, I was like, sheesh, that's expensive. But you know what isn't expensive? Subscribing. Because chatters, we are another hour into stream. So it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing. For $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag stuff for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime available. Hi, Cokes. People, hey. It is kind of expensive. Skip your coffee. Then you can subscribe. Anyway, get some water, get a snack. We'll keep playing. We'll do a few more rounds and then we'll do Animal Crossing. People, bye, non-subs. We'll play for 15 more minutes. I'm going to get it first. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Screw it. I'm gonna do it. I mean, I say that, but like, I'm only subscribed to one Twitch channel now. I feel bad about it, but see it this way. If I subscribe to more channels on Twitch, then I can't gift my chat subs. It adds up. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think right now I have my Twitch turbo sub. <gasps> my god, first! Fuck, oh, come on. I have my Twitch turbo sub, which if you're balling on Twitch with a budget, it costs $10 and you get ad reviewing on the whole platform. Wowee. 
And then I have a Hassan sub because I watch him literally all day, every day. But of course, support your favorite small streamer if you can as well. Use I I would recommend. Um, I would recommend everybody get a Twitch Turbo. It will drastically change your Twitch viewing experience. Um, probably give your Amazon Prime to your favorite small streamer. And then just subscribe normally to whoever you want to. <laughs> I don't know. I think the reason why I'm still subbed to Hassan is because I've subbed to him the longest. I think I have like... Like a 15 month sub to him. So it's like, I don't want to ruin that streak, you know? Wait, I'm in fifth? Holy. Oh fuck, no items. Come on. You motherfucker! Dude, how am I in 10th? I hate Mario Kart. I hate everything. Screw this game. Oh, of course, I, of course, I could have gone for a cut there. I should have saved it. That could have been my worst performance all day. I had second, and then I finished with 11th. Awkward! Okay, believers, we have time for like five more races. So, I will do this for you all. Hi, Vora. Welcome in. Let me get some peace out to you. Yes, Vora. Oh, I gotta choose mine. I'm honored. Sorry, one of the racers' names was Agent 43 and they had sunglasses on. That's so good. <laughs> I almost had it perfect. Was there a new prediction? Um, we changed predictions. Instead of every race, we'll do them every so often. So the prediction right now, we started it like 30 minutes ago. The prediction was for... Will I get first place at all today? <laughs> Which is still possible. Because I think chatters were saying before... That doing a prediction every single race was overwhelming. And I was like, okay, I can respect that. So we're doing them less often. But you know what I'm not doing less often? <laughs> Grocery shopping. Anyway. <laughs> Another adjuvate, just kidding. So since we're living on our own now, I'm doing all the grocery shopping and basically like buying household things on my own. Which is fine, it was expected. But it's still kind of hard getting used to doing everything on your own. Like, I think the most difficult thing when it comes to grocery shopping is not being under budget, because I think I'm budgeting pretty well. Because basically in Washington, it should cost $400 per person for groceries. 
I think we're we can probably hit because we have like we have three people in the house, but we're gonna have four soon. But I think we can survive off of 200 per person per, per month. And I think that's totally possible. Because, you know, there's a bunch of, like, low-budget stores. I had to reapply for food stamps, so hopefully that'll get approved. Anyway, fourth place. Easy. Wait, I'm the fourth. I had third. I got robbed at the end. Okay, hey, well, that was better. That was better. I think it's because I know this track pretty well. Anyway, so I basically like do grocery shopping every week or every other week because the way I see it, because I know typically people go like every two weeks to like once a month. But the issue when you grocery shop less often is that you tend to like overbuy. You also tend to throw away more food because you obviously are like overbuying and then you're probably not going to eat the food before it expires. So I have found like going once a week or every other week, like I'm able to buy like more fresher produce, um, like lower discounted meats and stuff. Cause you know how they always have like a section for like discounted stuff cause it's going to expire in like three days. So I usually shop in that section that way I save a few bucks and then otherwise you're going to throw that food away, right? Food stamps is a big help when I moved out. Yeah, it, it's crazy how expensive it can be, but I think Another thing that I tried to, like, get over... Oh my god! I was going for the fucking skip! Dude, I just can't even do the skip. I can't even do it. Um, a thing that I just had to, like, get over was not buying, like, the more nicer quality of food. Like, for example, if I wanted to get flour, I wouldn't buy, like, a a non-store brand flower because usually like the store brand is going to be cheaper and like i don't mind that like i'm not able to buy like fully organic foods like i would like to be able to like buy food that's more like ethically made or like how they have like free range chickens i would love to buy it but you, know, you just can't afford it right now and i feel bad but it's just it's just how it's gonna be for a while but hopefully hopefully my food stamps get approved and you know i'll be up 150 for grocery money every month. That'd be epic. And another thing too is if you cook food every night, the thing that I've noticed as well um, is if you cook every night, you're obviously going to have leftovers every night. And if you don't eat it in time, it's going to spoil. So with the way I do meal prep to where I cook every other day, but then I cook enough for... Oh, come on! For that day and the day after, I've noticed that we've had a lot less food waste. Like, we've only had to throw away one meal prep. We actually two. In the whole, like, month and a half we've been here. So that's pretty good. When in comparison, like, my mom would cook dinner every night and there'd be, like, a fuck ton of leftovers. And she would have to throw away so much. So. I think the way I have everything planned out works pretty well. The only obstacle I'm really having is if they don't like the food that I made for the night, then that's like, it's kind of like GG's, you know? Because I'm not too picky myself, but there's obviously some foods that I just won't eat. Like, I, I'm still trying to get over it, but I don't like veggies. I don't like them. But I'll, I'll like sneak them in. You don't ask them what they want to eat? I ask them, and then they say, I don't know. You can pick whatever you want, Megan. And I'm like, okay. And then my sister is a little bitch and will be like, well, I don't like that you made this. I'm not going to eat it. I'm like, <laughs> no veggies. I know. I'm such a little baby. I can't. It's like the texture, the texture of veggies. I just can't do it. It makes me feel like I'm eating grass. I know that's the thing that everybody says, but I just can't get it down. What I do do is I will like, um, I'll prep veggies, like I'll grate them really small or cut them really small and then I mix it into things. Like, if ever I make soup, I have like prepped squash that I grated really small. That way if you boil it in the soup, then it'll, it'll just like fully melt. I will like, um, I have a mini food processor, so I'll like, it basically minces. So I'll like mince like spinach and mushrooms really small and then mix them into eggs or whatever. 
That way, you know, I get them in somehow. I love veggies. I heckin' hate veggies. I remember my mom used to make, like, zucchini cupcakes all the time. Those were good. But they had a fuck ton of sugar in them. I only want chicken nuggies. I know. My sister isn't that bad. But I just don't want her to get to that point. Because she has, like... Okay, she used to eat, like, a cup of ramen every morning and then every day for lunch. Before he moved. Because, you know, she loves her sodium, she loves her salt. And she has, like, the nice ramen to where it's, like, from, like, the Asian store. Or the Asian markets. I think her favorite's gotta be the curry. So, I'm trying to, like, get her off of the ramen. So she'll still have it for breakfast, but then she'll eat, like, the normal lunch prep I make. Yeah, she's crazy. And she wonders why she has indigestion. <laughs> but, you know, you gotta, like, ease people into change. I understand that. Wait, I thought I was doing so well, but I'm in fucking 8th place. I was like, damn, I feel like my lines are pretty decent this race. Oh my god, I'm clueless. <laughs> yeah, of course the ramen tastes good, but just because something tastes good doesn't mean you should eat it all day, every day. Oh, but I'm so jealous of my sister. She's so, like, fucking skinny. Like, she can eat everything and she doesn't gain weight. So jealous. Oh, I got time to come on! I could have caught up. I'll get boomed, everybody. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> It'll catch up to him. My brother was the same way and his body could only take so much. Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell her. But... You know, when she has, like, she has a job, so she has her own money, so, like, she'll come home with, like, more ramen. And I'm like, bro, you do not need more. Okay, we will do one more race. One more. And then we're gonna do Animal Crossing. One more race. I have one more chance to earn a first place. I deliberately did not choose Berlin, because it's my worst track, and basically everybody else picked it. I can't help it. I will try my best, believers. I will try my best. Are you gonna do play with subs sometimes? Uh, I'm thinking about that. Usually I only do play with viewers during tournaments or subscriber only streams sometimes. So that might be something I will consider in the future, but not at this time. Cause I feel like when you, ooh. Ooh, Wario's gold mine? Wait, I might actually have a chance. This is one of my favorite tracks. I'm not necessarily like cracked at it, but I'm decent. Um, the reason why I don't do play with viewers often is because if you do it too often, then the novelty kind of like fades away over time. And then people get bored of you. I think I fell off. Wait, third place? Double item box? Guys, I might have a chance. <gasps> I think the cart stopped the red shell. Oh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. This might actually be my race. 
Double red shell. <laughs> Get fucked. Everybody clip clip. I got first place, first place. Oh, interesting. Somebody behind me had a boombox. Oh, why did you get the fucking double item box, dumbass? Sorry. I thought they would get it. That's why I dodged it. Ooh, oh, come on. Of course they got a boom box. I'm so close. I want them to get rid of the boombox. The still spun out. Okay, they're not dumb. They're just bad at timing. Oh, they have a. I was doing so well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't want to leave it. I saw Big Blue. I saw Big Blue. I like Big Blue a lot. I'm not good at it, but I like playing it. One more race. One more. One more for the believers. Agony, I know. Damn. Surely I'll win this time. Um, does anybody think I'll get first? Type one? <laughs> oh, I was like waiting for everybody to suggest a course and all of them were picked already. Sad. Okay, I'm gonna try hard. No talking, no talking. No distractions either.
Okay, sixth place is good. Damn it, I could have gotten like... I could have saved a second there. I could have... Caught up! I just spammed at the end. Damn it. Damn it, that sucks. I think six is fine. Six is like... Fine. Not the best, but I'll take it. Believers, I'm sorry. You guys did get a massive win. You guys got 10k earlier. But I'm sorry. I cannot get a first today. I'm sorry. But yeah, the stream isn't over just yet. We're gonna switch gears to a fan favorite part of stream, Animal Crossing. If you're new to the channel, uh, make sure you're following. That way you get to hang out a chat and you get cool emotes. But basically, Animal Crossing is more chill. We explore the island, we do our dailies, we talk more. So it's kind of like basically AMI time with your favorite small streamer. So I'm gonna go change out the cartridges. <clears throat> Okay, we gotta think of a banger title. Any suggestion, guys? Any suggestions? I can't talk. I think the title right now is pretty good, though. Wait, did I spell unstoppable wrong? Okay, wait, hold. I think I spelled unstoppable wrong. Fuck. Oh, wait, it does have two Ps. Okay, okay, I'm good, I'm good. I thought I messed up. That doesn't look right, though, with two Ps. I think we can keep the title as is for now. Hmm. I'm unstoppable. <laughs> I think it's so funny. It makes no sense, but I think that's why it's so funny. There we go. I think we'll keep it for now. If y'all think of anything else funny, or we can change it. Oh, it's been so long. Hello there, everyone. Right now in Tibland, it is 1.29 p.m. on Tuesday, January 10th, 2023. I have an event announcement to share today. The Winter Fishing Tourney will be held this Saturday. There will be a registration tent set up in the plaza from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., so be sure to stop by if you can. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Okay, chatters, you know what that means. I guess we're streaming on Saturday, baby. Am I doing anything Saturday? I don't think so. Guys, we are streaming on Saturday. You pass birds? Good job. Okay, we gotta change our fix. I'm still... Wait, was the last time we played Christmas Eve... That can't be right. 
I thought we played already this year. Wait, we did the recap. Oh, no, we didn't. This is the first time playing since the new year. Okay, let's, let's pick a festive new year type dress. I don't like the tights. Do I really not have these in white? Oh, that would look so good if I had those in white. Oh, I don't think I have any shoes that match. Oh no. I hate this. <laughs> Dude, this fit is horrible. I'm changing. I'm changing. Oh, wait. I've always liked my Hakama, actually. I'll wear the Hakama. No glasses. I'm putting on my contacts today. Okay, simple fit. Oh, wait, no, I want my... <laughs> I hate when people come uninvited. Your bestie is here. Let me in, hipster. Get the fuck out. I'm coming in. And you can leave. This is the second time Bubbles has just walked in unannounced. Yeah, get out of here. It's always Bubbles. I think it's because I have the highest friendship score with Bubbles. Or maybe she just loves me. I don't know. <laughs> Trespasser SMH. You know. Wait, actually... I think Washington's stand your ground laws are strict. Meaning, okay, I don't know why I brought that up. <laughs> Meaning, you can only, like, merc somebody on your property if they show intent to harm you. So if somebody is trespassing, like, if they, like, for example, like, are walking through your backyard for some reason, you can't legally shoot them. But granted, stand your ground laws are different for every state. Which I think is wrong. I think it should be, like, the same at the national level. Because why should somebody have the right to kill somebody in one state, but not have the right in another? I just think nobody should be able to kill at all. Controversial, but true. Anyway, let's let's play the game. <laughs> I do what I damn well please. Exactly, brother. <laughs> Upcoming fishing tourney Saturday, January 14th. Okay, we'll, we're streaming Saturday, guys. We'll stream Saturday. Let's see. It's been for ever since I've played. Because I remember... Ooh, Samurai Fit. Um, during the start of the year, they had, like, special New Year's in-game items. And I would just log in to buy them. Just be darker side? Let's fucking go. What's your time? Because I've just been playing Pokemon offline. Thirteen twelve, dude, you're crazy. That's actually insane. I'm trying to think of another like playing with viewers stream we could do for Animal Crossing. I want to do another cooking one. Because then we could, like, RP. 
as like cooks and then some people could RP as customers and I think that'd be really funny. Dude, isn't this the most aesthetic workbench you've ever seen? I want to get like a nice like art setup, but y'all know it's gonna get cluttered and messy so quickly. Like for my desk that I use here, I use it for both streaming and painting. So whenever I paint, I just move my laptop over because I have a little side table. But I decided I'm not gonna put like like butcher paper or a mat down when I paint. I'm just gonna paint straight on the desk. So, there's a whole bunch of, like, paint marks on my desk. Because it's faux wood. It's not real wood, so I don't give a fuck. But I think it's kind of charming. Can you play Fortnite with viewers? No. Hmm. 15k? Holy. Like I said, I, I don't know. I haven't played Fortnite since. Because the day I did the Fortnite stream, I played a little bit offline, and I think the furthest I got, because I played three games and then I got bored. Um, I think the furthest I got was, like, top 30, and I was like, damn, this sucks. Because, like, the thing that I've kind of, like, come to realize through streaming, like, gaming is so much fu more fun when people are here watching. Like, I don't think I could ever do, like, a gameplay YouTube video. Because just... Playing without chat is weird. I think it's also because my chat room is really interactive for the most part. So it's it's weird to not have that engagement anymore. Because <laughs> it call me cringe. But whenever I play games offline, I think of, oh, I would make this joke or I would make this comment if I were streaming it. Like that's how my mind is now. Like I feel like I've broken my brain in that level to where I can't fully enjoy a game as much anymore. Okay, well, let's see what we need to do. But you play Pokemon without us? True. But the reason why I like Pokemon is because I know, I know for sure it wouldn't be a good game for stream. Because I only really played to like calm down at the end of the day. So, like, I'll play from, like, 7 to 10 p.m., depending on what time I go to bed. It's, like, the, the game I'll play when I'm, like, sleepy, but not wanting to sleep yet. I look so pretty in the snow. Look, I blend in. It's so pretty. My <laughs> content brain. <laughs> See, I think that's a good and a bad thing. Because... I know I'm not the best, like, streamer. I'm not the best content creator. If you can even call me that. But I think... I understand... Why I am the size that I am. Whether it be... How I'm still very small. Or you can look through it through the lens of, Oh, why do I have nobody watching? Like, I have more than nobody watching. You know, I have a good handful of people who will watch most any stream that I do, right? And I think there's a level of ego to it as well. But, you know, I'm not just sitting here not talking at all. And that's what a lot of people who have small viewership do. And it's because a lot of small streamers rely on their chat for their commentary. So if they don't have an active chat, then they won't commentate. And then... If you don't commentate, people won't chat. So it's just this endless cycle of you not saying anything and then nobody watching. So that's why even if chat isn't as chatty, I try and keep talking as much I, as I can able, as, as much as I'm able to. Which there is a limit to it. And some games do push that more than others. Like, I'm usually more talkative during Mario Kart, because, like, it's fine if I fuck up a race. You know, it's not likely that I'll get first anyway. But it's a game that I know well enough to where I can, like, zone out a little bit and, like, talk a little bit more. 
when in comparison, story type games don't really push your commentary because a lot of it is you reacting to what's happening on screen. Because I think the biggest appeal to my stream is it's just like we're hanging out talking, you know? <gasps> oh, it's gonna be fall on this island! I love when the islands are a different season. Um, talking about the channel, if you're new here, follow the channel. Um, make that heart button a different color. And if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. We are one follower away from our long-term girl of 650. Anybody want to help reach that goal? Captain has a wife? Wait, did he say he had a wife? I know he said that he, they have kids, right? But does he have a GF? Or a BF? I don't know. Dude, I've literally forgotten the controls of the game. I kept on pressing plus by accident. Oh, he said something about his wife. Okay, he uh, it's canon then. Wait, have any of you guys seen the movie? Oh my god, what's it called? It's the new Disney one. Like, they go on an adventure. What's it called? Oh, okay, it's gonna- I need to look up what it's called. But it legitimately has, like, so much... queer representation in it. A uh, new Disney adventure movie. Because my sister and I watched it at home. Oh, Strange World. Um, yeah, you're right, Hacker. The moment you typed it, I pulled it up on my phone. It's called Strange World. My sister and I watched it together. And, okay. It obviously has, like, a lot of representation. Which is good, considering, like, queer people. Which is cool and epic. But the whole time, <laughs> my sister and I were making, like, Kate Conan jokes. <laughs> We were like, fucking lived up Disney. <laughs> Not in my country. Like, we were making jokes like that the whole time. <laughs> For chatters, if you don't know, I'm queer, okay? I can make jokes. I know leftism is no jokes, but I can make jokes. Um, <laughs> and there was a scene where... <laughs> We're so bad. Okay, it's not just me. My sister and I were both making these jokes. Um, there was a scene where they were, like, delivering produce to somebody in a wheelchair. And... I was like, oh my god! <laughs> I've never seen one of those people before! <laughs> Dude, I'm so kid. <laughs> yeah, Disney is brainwashing our kids. And... Okay, because the reason why my sister and I were making these jokes is because Strange World performed poorly on the international level. Obviously, because it had queer characters in it, so it wasn't broadcasted in certain countries that don't support queer or LGBTQIA rights. And we were, like, discussing that initially. Because, um, like, within, like, five minutes... Okay, if anybody... If you've seen it, it's in the very beginning, but like one of the the main character's son, they have like a crush on like a guy and it's his son, right? And me and my sister, we looked at each other, we're like, <gasps> we were like, is this the first canon gay character? Like, it's so obvious. It's so obvious, right? And then we paused it and then we talked about it. Because then she brought up the point like, oh, this movie performed poorly and we we're like, we we're talking about why. And then the rest of the movie, we we're just making fucking jokes. But the movie was fun. It was fun. I think it's one of those type of movies to where they had a concept. Because the whole concept is like creatures. And they just went crazy. <laughs> but it was still a fun watch. It's very like on the nose. With the, what the themes are. As of the most Disney movies, I feel like the theme is very obvious. If you're watching as an adult, but you don't really pick up on it as a kid. Like, I watched 
Bug's Life a few years ago as an adult. And I was like, oh, this is about, like, people being bullied and, like, how people just naturally are exclusionary. And I was like, whoa, that's wild. I never thought of that. And then I think Monsters, Inc. is obviously, like, an allusion to, like, global warming in, like, how capitalism will always prioritize profit over, like, innovation. Like, there's always some, like, underlying theme. But Strange World- Dude, the theme is so obvious. It's so, like, in your face, too. Because it's, it's about, like, how- It's alluding to how crude oil and fossil fuels are bad. And how capitalism will always prioritize profit over cons conservation measures. Because, like, whenever my sister and I watch a movie together, we'll always, like, discuss it and talk about it after. Because I think, you know, I took AP Lit in high school, so I know what context clues and foreshadowing is. Okay, I know what to look for. It's also, like, ruined every single piece of media I consume, because all I can think about is the underlying meaning to whatever I'm watching. It's ruined it for me. But it also, it kind of forces me to, like, look at things in a different perspective and not necessarily passively enjoy things. Like, as with most creative things, whether it be, like, film, movie, or poetry, there's always a reason behind why the person created it the way they did. And looking at things through that more analytical, analytical lens kind of forces you... Wait, what was I saying? <laughs> um, looking through it through that ana analytical lens kind of forces you to... Be more critical of your own perspectives and outlooks on things and also trying to understand other people's outlooks. And alter and change your perspective on things you might not fully understand. I'm getting so many fall DIYs here, that's actually nice. Because <laughs> I know I didn't play as much during fall time, so... Missing out on these... Or catching up on these missed opportunities. I still need to watch Turning Red. All right. I think I watched it at home with my sister. Yeah, I did. I didn't watch it in theaters. Like, it was still a very fun watch. Like, a lot of the shots are very, like, beautifully, like... The shots are beautifully shot, but... <laughs> but... Oh, it's very, like, anime. Like, a lot of the cinematography and, like, the overlays that add is very anime. Like, it's obviously targeted more towards the younger audience. <laughs> As with most Disney movies. But... I think it was, it was a very enjoyable movie to watch. It's very- the themes are very similar to Brave, where it's about, like, family and, like, the mother-daughter dynamic, but that can also be applied to, like, any parental figure you have. Like, the theme is very on the nose. I feel like with most more modern Disney movies, the theme is more, like, outwardly in your face. But I would say, watch it if you have the chance. One thing that I did really like about Turning Red is that a lot of the production staff were actually Asian Americans. And that was very cool. Like, you know, having the people who have that lived experience actually portray it at the production level, I think was very good. Good job, Disney.
Because I remember I was watching like the behind the scenes like mini doc they posted. And they were saying how it's very hard to get these types of films like pitched because if a majority of your demographic is American, obviously they have to think about international, but like thinking about domestically released, like a lot of people, because they were saying it took a while for the movie when it was being pitched to like be like approved. Is that how you say it? Uh, it, it faced a lot of difficulty because they were trying to um, convince execs that even if the story is based around like Asian American experiences, a lot of people could still relate because the main theme is about like family dynamics. And anybody can relate to that. Because just because you don't necessarily look like the person on screen doesn't mean you can't relate to what they feel in some instances, right? That's why I don't like when people get all uppity about, like, how do you say, it? hiring or casting like POC or queer people to play more traditional roles. Because it's like, having that identity doesn't necessarily affect the character too much unless it's written that way. So, like, it's totally fine. Like, it's different if they're casting certain POC people to be performative, because that, to me, is not right. But if the person's identity doesn't affect the character, then why does it matter? And I mean in the sense of... I'm trying to think of an example of where it wouldn't matter. Okay, let's say the movie is about, like, a college kid in America, right? Obviously, somebody who's POC would have a different experience living in America as a POC versus a white person. So then, it would kind of make more sense why they would cast certain people, right? But if it were for... Like, a princess movie, it wouldn't really matter. Like, if you're casting, like, like, Rapunzel, it wouldn't really matter. This time of day looks so pretty. Like, the color of the ocean. I love that turquoise. Don't you feel like it's forced at times? Like I said, it's different if they're casting POC just to be performative and outwardly inclusive. But if the person cast is like a good fit for the role, then it shouldn't matter. Oh fuck, I did not mean to pick this up. I thought it was a pine cone. <laughs> Damn it, I hate getting these lost items. Oh, now I have to talk to everybody. I hate talking to people. <clears throat> hey champ, long time no see. What are you up to? Me? I'm up to almost 7,000 push-ups a day. Bet you can't beat that. Yeah, I can barely do one, man. You're just raring to go, so, uh... What do you need? You lose this? Uh, what now? This isn't mine, but I did see Frigga with something kind of like this. Wait, who is Frigga? I am clueless. Who are... Who Megalo Frigga? Are they the penguin? Oh yeah, okay. I don't talk to her at all. Okay, well let's find Frigga. Weeping social? Yeah, I hate it. I despise it. If I could talk to nobody every day, I love it. I think everybody has a dream for when they retire. But I, I don't really have a dream like that. I just want to be able to live comfortably. I saw this post the other day that was talking about, oh, these people have a dream 
to retire at 50 and become multi-millionaires. And then I outlined everybody's different lip scenario to where how they failed. Like, oh, this person invested too much. This person got into crypto and then they invested all their money and they lost it all. Because that type of stock is unreliable. And then this person just saved their money. They didn't invest. And then this person decided to have kids, dumbass. And all their money went to their children. <laughs> and I think the biggest thing with those type of long-term retirement goals or long-term life goals... I think people like the idea of it happening more than it being your reality. Because everybody enjoys the feeling of working towards something, right? And you do get kind of bored of that normalcy and that repeated schedule of, or the monotony of life. But I think as long as you're enjoying your day-to-day -day and you're moderately healthy and you're able to get by, I don't mind that life. I don't need a... I don't need to be a multi-millionaire. I don't need to have a mansion. You know, as long as I'm healthy and I'm able to live decently without too much worry, then I think that's the dream. Because, like, I know it's smart to invest, but I, I just feel like investing is gambling to some level. And investing only helps the companies, not necessarily the investors. So I, I don't know how I feel. I probably would have to invest, like, if I want to have money for retirement, because, you know, all our current policymakers are trying to cut back on um... What's it called? Not senior benefits. I know, I know you guys know what it's called. <laughs> I know what it's called, but I can't remember what it's called. What's it called? What's it called? I'm clueless. I, I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> so, 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 yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I had it on the tip of my tongue. Oh my god. Yeah, so they're always gonna be cutting back on social security benefits. So it's like, you gotta figure out some way to get money for yourself. Oh, there's Frigga. Oh my god. Why don't you get all the penguins before Aurora? That actually could be the strat, because if I get all the penguins on my island, then Aurora will actually be more likely to spawn. Mm-hmm. But what is life without risk? Well, like I we talked about this before, but the reason why actual investing, like through like an investment form or firm, is a bit safer is because there's like some type of like safety net. There's like insurance. Oh. Wait, what was that sound? Do, 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 do. Like. Versus crypto. Where it's not predictable at all. So what's wrong with that? Well. There's obviously going to be people who are easily manipulated to where they lose their money. I think actual investments in stock is fine, but crypto is is not investing. It's not. Um, anybody have crypto type one? <laughs> I don't. I don't. But you know what they say: you gotta have money to make money. I thought about buying before. Oh no, Mac, don't do it. Don't do it. And if you do, then I'll say I told you so. Oh, the reason why, um... Oof. Actual investments in stocks is safer is... Because since crypto is basically crowdfunded, um then there's no, like... Like, if it fails, then you aren't going to be compensated back. Versus traditional stocks or banks, for example, that do invest your money into stocks occasionally, like you can sign off on it. If the bank or whatever company goes bankrupt, you get sometimes a return on your investment. 
Invest in peace and streaming career? Exactly. Exactly. Any primers want to help support your favorite or your second favorite small streamer, peace in underscore 17? Any primers? I think it is interesting how... I know me. Whenever I'm able to donate to a streamer or like share bits or sub or whatever, I feel like it has more impact than... Like, donating to a larger streamer. Because, like, when you see a larger streamer who has, like, 10 or 20,000 subs, it feels like a drop in the bucket, right? But with a small streamer, you're like, oh, they got an extra couple bucks this month. That's great. Like, I'm trying to think. I usually will give subs or cheer bits on a smaller channel. I also haven't, like, donated to channels in a while, and I feel bad. Because, you know, we broke bitches now. My heart earned money in the bucket. <laughs> and also... Like, I want attention when I donate. Like, you know. You know, if you like gift a sub or cheer bits in a larger channel, they probably won't even acknowledge it and it feels bad. You know, it feels bad. But I like when the streamer says my name, okay? I'm a little attention whore. But you know how you can also get my attention? It is by fucking subscribing. Because, Shatters, we are three hours into stream, so it's time for me to tell. Or it's time for me to run some ads. So you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your copy and get ad for viewing all month long, or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Um, After the ad, I think we'll wrap up for today. I don't feel like doing you lappy lose. I'm kind of tired. It's weird like getting back into this new schedule. But after the ad, we'll do a calligraphy, so stream is not over yet. So if you are... New here, follow the channel. That way you can type in chat and get cool emotes. And anyway, get some money, get us a snack. We will see some of you guys in a few. <laughs> Neglected as a child. Dude, right on the nose, my guy. <laughs> Ain't no way! Thank you for that gifted sub, Mac. We successfully baited a chatter. But thank you, Mac. I appreciate you. I said your name. Sub goal? Way to hold. Ain't no way. Actually... 80 subs. Thank you, Mac. We hit our daily sub goal. We were gonna do Cold the Lamb anyway, but thank you, Mac. Thank you. You are gonna get your name written during calligraphy, so wowie wowie, Mac. Double Cold to the Lamb. Yeah, we'll do 10 hour Cold to the Lamb. <laughs> okay, get boomed on subs. 20 more for Fortnite? Exactly. 20 more for Fortnite. Okay. Anybody think we can hit that today? Oh, look at the Pikachu back here. It's so cute. It's so cute. Should I put another painting right here? Just to fill in that space? I think I should, right? I'll do that tomorrow. No. Would it be too busy? Oh, you guys think about it. Oh, wait, I ran the ad already. Okay, so we're gonna set up for calligraphy now. You like the breakup? Yeah, because, like, even if I did put one here, you wouldn't be able to see it, right? Because the chair blocks most of it. You're the only reason I watch Twitch? Well, thank you. I think that's the glory of the platform. 
there's so many streamers. But then also, since the way that Twitch streams are, people gravitate towards the personality. So I'm glad you chose me. And it's also very hard to discover new streamers. Like, the only time I watch a new channel is if you're watching on Twitch desktop, you'll see, like, on your tab, you'll see following, recommended, and then it'll say, like, oh, channels who watch so-and-so also watch these channels. These are the only channels I really check out. So, like, since I watch Hassan a lot, it'll say, like, oh, channels who watch Hassan also watch these people. So that way it's kind of in, like, a similar circle. I get the notification, but I just don't want to stop what I'm doing. I kind of feel that, too. It, it depends on, like, who, though. Like, I have notifications on for a few channels, but I'll just, like, swap the notification on if the stream doesn't seem, like, enticing enough. Because I'm very picky. I'm very picky. That's why I try to title my shit as crazy as I can. Oof. Phone POV. <laughs> Lamo. Oh, awesome chat. Just a reminder. We are starting a new game tomorrow. Blind playthrough of Omori. I know some chatters were looking forward to this, so we're finally starting it tomorrow. Um, type 1 if you're excited. <clears throat> yeah, I'm excited to play it too. Because I, I, I can assume what happens in the game. But I haven't, like, sit down and watched the playthrough of yet. Oh, you don't know what the game is? Ooh, so me and Cokes are both going in blind. Hey, okay, click every time. So if you want me to write your name, you can use your channel points or donate to the channel. Right now, we, we have one person who has redeemed. It feels weird doing a normal stream. Like just Mario Kart, Animal Crossing, and then end. It's been a while since we've had a normal ass stream. Because we had the holiday streams. And then calligraphy. Green, please? Of course. All you know is the plot? Oh, okay. I mean, the visuals look cute, at least in the game. You know, I do love a game that's cute. Purple or pastel purple? I might have that. I'll check. Because I have a I have another pen set. Right now I'm using my Cali Art pens. I just realized I could have been using my Tumbos this whole time. Because I didn't have the space to like take it in and out, but I do have the space now. Yeah, we can... Because I'll show my pens really quick. Um, If you want links to buy these pens yourself, hashtag not sponsored. What's oh the gel pens? I was like, what's castle art? So normally 
Ace Cali art. I think it's a 36 piece. It was only 16 bucks. Not bad. They do kind of like... Because you know how brush pens, the tips kind of... Not break, but they get busted up quickly. So I have like... I have literally five sets of it. Because we go through the pens so much. And then I also have Tombos. These are like the basic go-to brand for brush pens. You'll see them at Michael's all the time. Um, but I, I bought this kit back in high school. And they've lasted me pretty long. I think this set, this is a 96 set. I also made a, a swatch. I love the gradient. I made this myself, because usually when you buy pens, they organize them by hue. So they'll put, like, instead of doing rainbow, they'll put, like, all the more grayish colors, all the more whitish colors, and the, all the more, like, saturated colors, and that's how they organize it. But I, I made this swatch myself, because I, I just think it's easier when you have similar colors next to each other. So yeah, these are my tombos. This whole set, oh, it was, like like i think 200 because tombos oh wrong scene tombos are kind of pricey but you know i bought this because i i did like summer jobs when i was in high school and shit so you know i had the money back then so we, i just realized if you want like a more specific color i can use the tombos because the colors in the cali set are kind of limited They got 320 alcohol markers. Ooh, nice. Very nice. I've always wanted to try alcohol markers, but the reason why I don't like illustrate with markers as much is because it's very difficult to blend. I think the best like way to render with markers is by layering colors. I hate those nasty, generic art kits people gift as, give as gifts, yeah. I used to get one of those for Christmas every year. But then when I was like 11, I was like, why do I keep buying this shit? I should just like buy more expensive art supplies. <laughs> Cause like when you're a kid, you don't fucking know. You know, you're, you're clueless. You're just like, whoa, a hundred piece art set? It has 10 pastels, it has 20 color pencils, but they're all dog shit. But you're like, oh my god, 100 pieces. <laughs> you're like, that's almost as many pieces as my Lego set. I got one every year for my birthday. <laughs> yeah, I think I got one for Christmas every year. Oh, them just sitting there and I don't know what to do with them? I mean, if they're unopened, maybe you could donate them. I know all of ours went to, like, Goodwill and shit. Okay, I just realized I forgot to put the flowers around Mac. Yeah, for most of, like, my birthdays or holidays, my family members would just give us money or gift cards. Because they would be like, you know, you know what you want to buy, and I don't want to buy, like, the wrong art supply. <laughs> most of them are, are, are unopened. Yeah, don't eat them. If they're unopened, don't eat them. Because I, I know most, like, you know how they do, like, the toy drives during Christmas and stuff? I know, like, some do also look for, like, books or art supplies, so. Yeah.
Because when we moved, I didn't really donate anything. Because I didn't want to take the time to like sort through everything. And I didn't have a way to get to like our local Goodwill without taking the bus. But um, after we unpacked everything, I have a whole big, you can't see me, a whole big ass bag of used clothes that I got to donate someday. Because, like, I was trying to downsize my closet because, like, a lot of stuff didn't fit anymore. Or, you know, I gained weight. So I have to, like, lose it all again to make the clothes fit. So I was like, you know, I'll just donate for now. And then I can always, like, buy more clothes once I can shop for myself more, I guess. Um. Okay, once again, thank you, Mac, for the one gifted. And Nyx for the 8 month resub. Nyx is very close to a sunflower badge. Is it okay to eat your art supplies asking for a friend? Um, I would say no. I would say no. Even though most things that they sell at the consumer level for most dining product isn't toxic, I would say don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Have you ate art before? I feel like I ate paper as a joke before. But I don't think I ever ate art. Gentle reminder, if you want me to write your name, you can use your channel points or donate to the channel and I'll write your name for free. All the kindergartners in shambles. <laughs> Were the eating blue stories real? Yeah, one kid in my elementary, he would eat like Elmer's glue on his finger. Like he would make eye contact with people. Like he he'd turn around in his chair, make eye contact, put a dab of glue on his finger, and then lick it. So yes, the eating glue people were real. And then another kid would put glue. Because you know how when you put like liquid glue on your hand and it would dry and it would look like skin? They would put glue on their hand, go like this, and then peel it off and then eat it. What a weirdo. I think most kids are fucking weird, okay? You know, I think every single person as a child did something weird, okay? <laughs> the paste was good, or so I'm told. You know, I think self-reporting on those things is fine. Because it's not like it's outwardly harmful, right? <laughs> it was a very normal child. Copium. Reusing the tombos, reusing the nice pens. So I'm going to use an olive green for Slyveon because I don't have an olive green in the Kelly Art set. See, like, I barely use these pens. Of course, there's colors I use all the time, but some of these are, like, new-new. Slavion. 
Yeah, so chatters, for future name redemptions, you can choose more, like, specific colors, and I'll probably have it in my other set. I just have to get used to using these pens again. Because when you press down, it makes a much wider stroke. Okay, chatters, last name, last name of the day. So last call. If you want me to write your name, you can use your channel points or donate to the channel. I'll show these colors on the big camera. Because the color correction on the USB cam isn't as good. Yeah, look at that. Okay, last call. Last call. If you want me to write your name, you can use your channel points or donate to the channel. Five. Four. Lemongrass, like a seasoning. One, and we're done. Dude, the art looks so nice on the wall. I thought I wouldn't like it, but I like how it looks. I like it. I like it a lot. And if you like the art on the wall, um, peep the pin message. I do have a art account on TikTok. Please go follow. I'm gonna try and do weekly to bi-weekly speed painting. So go follow please. Looks so good. Thank you. Yeah, I forgot I had these Tombow pens. Oh, here's so you can see the the swatches on the nice camera. Bye. Wait, what did I say? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> there you go. So yeah, so now, Chad, as you can see what other colors you can redeem in the future. I really like the pinks. There's like there's like two, four, six. There's seven shades of pink. Oh, you said bi-weekly? <laughs> 296 is beautiful. Bro, you can see the fucking numbers. <laughs> Wait, 296. Okay, what color is it? I can't find it. I can't find it. Oh, two, it's like a turquoisey green blue right here. 296. Yeah, so Chatter's um, screenshot. That way you know which color <laughs> to use next time. <laughs> I'm gonna run after stream to like your next underscore piece and art bit. <laughs> Jogging, listening to piece and underscore art. <laughs> I mean, okay, the goal with the art TikTok is to have enough speed paintings made to where each video is like a mini podcast. That way you, you could listen to them in just like a playlist. I think that'd go crazy. Okay, chatters, we're gonna end it here. Thank you to everybody who watched today. Good evening from Spain. Wait, I know you were from the EU, but Spain? Holy, welcome in, Kimar. Welcome in. Can we get some peace out to yo's? We are ending stream. Awkward, awkward. Don't look at me. Um, but I would like to thank everybody for watching. Thank you everybody for chatting. Thank you for lurking. I had fun today. It's been a while since we've, since we've done a normal stream, and I think it went well. So I will be live again tomorrow. We are starting a new game. We are doing a blind playthrough of Omori. So if you want to see me um, get scared, I assume. This game looks very cute. It looks very cute. How could it be scary? I threw it on my bed. But yeah, so that'll be tomorrow, our new Wednesday game slot. Um, just a reminder, 
everybody go follow the art tiktok hashtag free to follow and if you want to keep up with my offline socials i do have a twitter instagram and a tiktok go follow all three if you're a real fan okay i'll see you guys tomorrow i'll see you guys tomorrow i had a lot of fun today i hope everybody had fun with their weekend i'm so glad to be back hopefully streams will be back normal oh um so stream schedule for this week tomorrow omari thursday i almost said odyssey um galaxy and then saturday we found out it's gonna be a fishing event in animal crossing so i should be able to stream saturday so bonus stream this week wait we're doing cult of the lamb later tonight <laughs> i forgot um cult of the lamb let's see it's 2 30 um maybe i'll start it at 4 at 4 p.m my time so in about an hour and a half hour and a half um, it will be a subscriber-only stream, so make sure if you want to watch me play Call to the Lamb, we we hopefully will beat World 3, the Ocean World. What's it called? I was going to say Darker Side, but no, that's not it. Anyway, if you want to watch the bonus stream tonight, subscribe. Okay. Anyway. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. 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 Dude, today was fun. I feel like I stuttered a lot, but I think it's because I was nervous. Like, it's always weird coming back from weekend. But I, I always have fun with everybody. Thank you. Genuinely. Genuinely. Thank you to everybody who fucking chats. Um, we love the lurkers, parasocially. But, you know, chatters, it, we have the most fun, you know? I always have a little fun talking to y'all. Yeah, so I should be live again tonight for a bonus subscriber only stream playing cold slim because we've hit multiple sub goals over the past few weeks that i've been scamming so make sure you have notifications turned on that way you don't miss any single stream i do oh i gotta eat lunch then because if i stream at four i'll probably end at seven and that's my normal dinner time ah i guess i'll have an early dinner then no i'm not a sub fuck it go eat yeah i will i will because like i'm trying to transition to like not intermediate fasting but like i'll have like breakfast a like medium-sized snack and then dinner that way I, like because i found like i was eating too much during like my normal like meals but yeah um see if you're prime available or maybe you'll get gifted next time cokes people shrug okay bye for real now i gotta end <laughs> okay bye guys i'll see you guys later for a sub only and if you're not sub we'll see you tomorrow for a blind playthrough of omori as always i had a lot of fun hope you guys had fun bye bye